I think before sex, I do mm-hmm. have to drink a little bit, even if it's um, symbolic. Oh, like I sometimes didn't mean, I didn't mean sex. I said sets. Oh. <laughs> pleasure goodbye that's um, funny. Wait, I, I was like wait why the fuck did you say that i was like wait i thought that was like kind of what we were talking about <laughs> oh wow and then you just said yes i do have to drink before sex and i was like yeah i guess i really <laughs> Welcome back to another episode of Plan Brie Uncut brought to you by Pirate, Pirate Water, Water, the best drink in the game. It's a 10% ABV malt beverage. It comes in four delicious flavors. And like I said, it's 10%. It's under two bucks. Mm-hmm. It's a tall boy can. It's amazing. It's incredible. We love Pirate Water. If you haven't tried it yet, you can go to drinkpiratewater.com right now, or you can order it on GoPuff. Also available in Walmart. So go get yourself some fucking Pirate Water to enjoy this long ass episode that's incredible with Whitney Cummings. We're here. Welcome back to another episode of Plan Brie Uncut. We have Whitney Cummings here with us. Shalom. And it's so exciting. Thanks for joining us. Last time I fans. saw you, I, I, I freaked out in the Barstool office, so it's really nice uh, for you to be back. I was and, and <laughs> sitting here. I'm still freaking out. <laughs> that was the first time we met in New York. Yeah. yeah. In the Barstool mm-hmm. offices. Yeah. You were so sweet. I just yelled, Wait! <laughs> okay, just like, <laughs> Jesus. I remember you running back being like, Brandon, I fucked up. I fucked up big I fucked time. Up big time. You're like, here to happened? hug me or fight me. Like, it's just, <laughs> I never know either. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> that's so nice of you but sorry i'm never the person that before a podcast we're talking about something uh-huh. and i'm like save it i know yeah. save it but you were talking about flavor flame and i just was like let's let's just do this on air it was so okay first of all we love flavor flav yes. we love him he was yeah. great but yeah. flavor's everywhere doesn't Does he still wear the giant clock Yes. Yes. Good. yes. Good. But we didn't know. It didn't make sense really for him to be on Plan Brie. No. It was kind of just like, oh, it would kind of be funny to have him come on. And then he came on. And I don't think he was awake. Well, I think he was snapping. He's been dead for 12 years. Exactly. Yeah. My first <laughs> job writing on a roast, because I think kind of the f- way I met you was kind of, I helped Josh Richards with jokes for the roast of Bryce Hall. Yes. That's how Josh and I first met. Yes. Okay? And then the first roast I ever did back when Comedy Central did roasts mm-hmm. was Flavor Flav. That's the first one oh, I wrote for. Oh, shit. Okay. The way that I got the job was I wrote the joke, Flav, you look like what Magic Johnson should look like right now. <laughs> That's fucking cool. That's good. That's really good. So I basically just said, you have AIDS. Um, so yeah, so Flavor Flav, like, kind of was weirdly my first That's great. Cr- Wait, were you, roast. did you, like, do the roast or just write for it for people? I wrote for them first because uh-huh. it was, like, to be a woman on the roast, it was really hard to break in. It was mm. mostly, like, guy writers. So I, I would write jokes to try to get on as a writer, finally got on as a writer, and then got on as a roaster later. Oh, wow. Yeah, That's and, crazy. You have to get on as like a writer first. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, you have to just really prove yourself, you know, and then yeah. I had to like record myself roasting other people and like shot it and like send it in. And, you know, it was kind of like a whole saga. But then I just did for OnlyFans TV last year, two roasts to like revive it, basically, because mm-hmm. the Comedy Central roasts, I did Joan Rivers, David Hasselhoff, Donald Trump, like a bunch of those. And then they stopped doing them because like. You know, like whatever, everybody got really sensitive. Yeah. You know, because the roasts were always the most brutal. You know? Yeah. You're jokes about AIDS, you're saying retard, you're making racial it's jokes, the best. you're saying yeah. women are whores. Like, yeah, yeah, it's like that's where we do this. But then everyone got worried. And I was like, oh, I think that like a white dude is going to be too. Why don't I just bring it back? Yeah. So last year we did Burt Kreischer, yes. which was hosted by Trevor Wallace. And then we did the roast of me. Yeah. Oh, which yeah. Which was uh, Hannah Stocking hosted it. Oh shit, oh. yeah. Okay, did you like being roasted? Oh, it was the best. It was? Because it's also, I mean, it's like, this is something I love so much about you. Like, I don't know you as well yet, but it's like, you have a sense of humor about yourself. You make yeah. fun of yourself. You know what I mean? Like, this mm. whole thing where it's like, everyone's so sensitive and you can't, if you call someone she when you're supposed to say that, like, no, cool people don't give a shit. You know I know, what I mean? that's like, the thing. Yeah. And especially and like, in what we do. It's like, you have to be able to take it or you're never going to survive yeah, it. Yeah, and if, yeah, exactly. And like, the comment section, it's like, you know, I think if you're a female comic, you've had so much, you know, like, negativity come at you you just kind of get used to it and mm-hmm. I know what it you know it feels like in the beginning but now mm-hmm. it's kind of just like if someone's making fun of you like think about when you make fun of someone else it usually I means know. that you like them you know yeah. it's like you know I grew up in a family where we just roasted each other like constantly it was just like vicious so like yeah. to me I see it as love and that's how comics talk to each other and like you know I'm careful about what podcasts I go on because it's like I don't want to go on one and I know joke about someone and then them get their feelings hurt that's, you know? That always have, especially with BFFs. I feel like sometimes when people come on, they think we're too. People don't come on anymore. Like we haven't had a guest in. I can't even remember when it's the last yeah. time BFFs had a guest because people are scared to come on. They think we're like making fun of them. 
Because you guys have this rapport, this like family vibe. I mean, I remember when I came on BFFs a while ago, I was like getting a little bit nervous because I was sort of like roasting Portnoy for being like, like, what is like, why are you friends? I know. Yeah. Like, that's when I didn't even talk yet. Is this Nambla? Like, why are you (laughs) hanging out? That is the National Association of Man Boy Love. Google it. Um, Because I was like, why are you pretending? Like, Josh, like, how do you even know these people? I know. I know. You should be on Megan's Law. Like, I was making all these like pedophile (laughs) jokes. Like, if I actually thought he was a pedophile, I wouldn't make the joke. Oh, yeah, you wouldn't course. do the thing it's, with him. Yeah, totally. You know yeah. what I mean? So it's like when you call someone a slut, like, you don't think they're a slut. It's the same thing with retard. Like, I'm, you know what I mean? Yeah, like, all yeah. this, you don't mean it. That's why it's a joke. And the fact that, that we are in a time where you have to explain what a joke is to people so wild. But yes, when I did mm-hmm. meet you, I like loved your vibe and I loved your energy. And I just like wanted you to talk more. And I feel I was like- so scared. <laughs> I, it was crazy. I was like so scared of Dave and Josh when it first started. I like just got on the podcast. I had no idea what I was doing. I still did this podcast, but it wasn't nearly as big as it is now. Yeah. And it was, I don't know why. I just had this thing. Barstool was scary. The men were mean. It's all it, not true. Like, but I think you were smart. Like, yeah. I should have been smarter when I started of like picking my moments. Mm-hmm. Like, I was sort of so desperate when I was doing like Chelsea Handler show and like mm-hmm. all these sort of shows in the beginning that were sort of a different version of what podcasting is now. Where yeah. I was like, say as much as possible mm-hmm. and like just just fight your way in. Yeah. When I should have chosen maybe my moments more and been more yeah. strategic. And I feel like you've been really smart about that. Thank you. Yeah. It felt like I was being a coward in the beginning, but then I'm like, okay, it kind of it worked in my favor I think yeah like I think you were like you're smart about going like let me like study this get yeah. to know it know my place in the band mm-hmm. and then I'll go in and like choose my battles yeah I was very observant but I was terrified I was terrified when I met you because you like Grace said huge fan you do everything that we want to do she wants to be a comic I want to be a writer you've nice. done it all nice it's insane but like how and where did you start it's like Weren't you terrified? Yeah. How how old were you when you like got your foot in the door? I guess when I first started, the first job I ever got was Punked, which is that show that was like a prank show that that guy Ashton Kutcher did. You know what I mean? Yeah. Right. It was like, yeah, like that was kind of almost like in a weird way. Like I feel like a little bit of a, the beginning of like viral sort of like he was kind of ahead of his time, but that was on MTV. Yeah. Yeah. And then, um, and then I just started like writing jokes and this, you know, and I started just like doing stand up after that. When did you start doing stand up? Like Like, what age? I guess 2004. I was. 20 I'm, I'm I'm so dyslexic and so bad at math sorry I was like it was like 18 years ago okay yeah so I started doing like early 20s which is like in the beginning with stand-up it's like you're just getting comfortable on stage you don't have to be good yet like, yeah who cares? Mm-hmm. and you guys already talk for a living you're, you're like now's a time where you can just go out and start doing stand-up mm-hmm. yeah. and then sort of figure it out later you yeah. know what, I mean? what do you think because you have been a comic forever comics get mad now at people that have followings and like start doing stand-up yeah. and then people come and watch their shows but they haven't done open mics for 10 years sure, what do sure. you think about it comics are mad about everything right yeah. here's what we need to remember <laughs> like everyone in the comment section who's mad about whatever your thing with your relationship or whatever your thing with what you said last week they're mad at everyone mm-hmm. they were also mad that you know this morning at uh-huh. the you know they saw a puppy that was you just know they didn't mad. Have, they're mad at yeah. everything yeah. you know what i mean so it's like comics like we complain for a living mm-hmm. so it's all we complain i mean gary goldman's one of my favorite comics he complains about sugar cookies for 40 minutes you know what i mean <laughs> Gib, Ga- jim gaffigan complains about hot pockets for 45 minutes like who True. can be that mad <laughs> about such a tasty yeah. food so it's like it, i think for, i would take it with a grain of salt because it's our job to complain yeah, yeah. That's you true. know that's and true. also think about how jealous we are yeah <laughs> <laughs> like we had to put in 20 years in like clubs and get like hepatitis and like tetanus from potato skins and barking in, in fucking yeah pensacola and then you guys just get to like you know They're like oh i have a crowd of my yeah open you mic, already yeah. have people that like you and then you get to get good in front of people that are already on your side like that's yeah. awesome you yeah know? i don't think it's easier though i think a lot of people like when i had trevor wallace mm-hmm. host uh the burt kreischer a lot of you know the comics were like oh you like had it easy i think it's almost harder in a way for you guys because like you have older comics that you look up to yeah. mm-hmm. kind of eye rolling at you know what I mean yeah that's mm-hmm. why I like didn't even want to get started into stand up because I've been like dabbling a little bit here and there but like I would never I, I had a hard time with the idea of having a following and just being able to have people show up rather than earning it is I it guess, like, is is it like it an impo- I mean why is not earning it like you guys are working your that's, ass I try off, to tell her that all the time it I'm like, looks different yeah, just I'm because like you, you have guys, fans yeah just because you didn't like hustle and like have to do cocaine in Orange New Jersey like, at last year you. <laughs> comedy cl- you know what I mean it's like I think comedians we like glorify this like struggle for no reason like yeah. why yeah. can't we glorify like you know things being like a little bit easier like yeah. why not and I again I don't think it's easier like like because you have like the comment section. Yeah. You know what I mean? Or you have people showing up that already know you. And so the pressure might be a little bit higher. That's, that's true. On that's you, true. You know? Yeah. Yeah. yeah the comment like sections that. are crazy. It's like changed 
the way people view them. I view myself. It's like hard not to read comments. Yeah, but personally. okay. So let me ask you a question. Do you not do auto block of certain words? I like, do now. I, I do now. I don't read comments anymore. But this I don't is, read comments this is my anymore. favorite thing. You learn everything you need to know about yourself based mm-hmm. on the words you have you to, need block. to block. Mine are like cunt, <laughs> yeah, unfunny whore, yeah. ratchet, yeah, look a older than you are, cunt. yeah, horse slut cunt, all out of my TikTok horse comments. face, yeah. <laughs> like these are the most common words that I get. And oh, once shit. you block a lot of those words, but there's also once you block the words you can say view on like unhidden comments or hidden comments <laughs> which i still will do and i'm like oh i know these are all gonna be fucking bad sometimes like i just want to see but let me ask you a question mm-hmm. do the comments really bother you unless i they don't bother me unless i agree with them usually yes. yeah because yes. usually i'm like oh she's got a point when it's yeah. like your last special was so much funnier than this special and i'm like that's tr- actually might that. be true i knew that yes yeah, yeah. Like, you like, find that one thing that you didn't even God, stop it. It's like in your subconscious and you're like, fuck, why are you holding up a mirror? Why is this hit so true? You know, so I think it's like that, you know? Mm -hmm. But I think that, um, do you ever respond to them? Oh, I used to. Mm -hmm. I used to be, I used to like feed off of it because I thought it was fun and I would like go into the depths of their personal lives and like destroy them. (laughs) Oh, I've I've contacted a grandmother before. Yeah. But now (laughs) it's crazy. You motherfucker. Yeah. (laughs) But it's not, it doesn't seem as um, fulfilling now. I'm like, I can't even imagine being a person. It's so fucking weird, right? Like imagine leaving a hate comment, Mm -hmm. an actual hate comment where you're like, you're a fucking loser. But that's the thing about it is that I've tried to rewire my brain to go, if you're the kind of person that needs to go out of your way to say something hurtful and like mess up and like god bless yeah Yeah. do you know what i mean like i have to just send you love because think about the place you would have to be in to do that to To someone else you would you know and also it's like i try to look at it as like okay i signed up to like make people's day and like make them happy Mm -hmm. and i don't get to decide how i do that like if some you know i know what i'm doing when Mm -hmm. i say like oh she's such a bitch or I'm jealous. Yeah. yeah. Or I need yeah. to like, you know, judge someone else to mm-hmm. feel better about myself because that's how low my self-esteem is. So if you get a little hit or a little high off mm-hmm. saying I'm not funny or I'm ugly, like, you know what? Ta- I'll take it. Yeah. yeah. Like I signed up to make people's day. Yeah. I didn't really sign up for, you know, it only to be the way that I wanted it to be. I would love to make you laugh, but if your day's a little better because you called me a dumb whore, like, True. Great. Yeah. I've done my help. job yeah. today. Well, we are making people's days when they hate us. <laughs> yes, too. totally. Yeah, you know? that's true. You get to hate someone. And like, you know, I think that for me, I've been around long enough that I have people come and like, you know, I, I feel like part of the reason I love you guys so much is like, you're so real and you're mm-hmm. so like just authentic, like love it or hate it. This is who I am. Mm-hmm. And I've had so many people that come to shows and sometimes it stings a little bit, but when they come up mm-hmm. to meet and greets after and they're like, you know, I used to not like you. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> that, oh my God. That's actually my favorite oh. compliment. Is like I, know. I used to hate you and now I think you're hilarious. Yeah. And I'm like, I don't right. know. Ask, Those like, are my what, favorite like, comments. What changed? Yeah. yeah I, I think they you changed. Because I kind of stayed the same, I think. Yeah, I would, but I would like, say. You know, I do think, like, think about it. Like, if I were, like, 24 and you guys existed, I would be like, I want to have a fucking podcast. I know. Yeah. I want to be dating a country star. Yeah. I want to be, like, the kind of person who can wear glasses that aren't prescription and just admit it. Yeah. I want to be the guy. <laughs> like, why? Like, I'm around here. Like, I used to do this and I'd be like, no, these are prescription. No, they're definitely, no, I need these. Like, no, I'm these are, you can see the blue light yeah, on these. Totally. Yeah. So it's like, the, you guys have a lot of qualities and a lot of things that other people probably want, but mm. can't, like, bridge the gap of self-esteem, like, to get it and to do mm. it, you know? Yeah. yeah. I think it's a small pl- price to pay. Yeah. Honestly, I think fame. it's made me, like, stronger and li- love myself more. Love it. Yeah. I'm like, this is me. And I fucking like myself. Yeah. It's just crazy to see. It just, it makes me a little jaded. I'm like, the world's fucked. People yeah. Are really wall mean. up. Kind well, of. It's also, I think yeah. that most people that love you, they do, like measure the negative comments to your followers. Yeah. Most people don't go out of their way to like say something negative. They're just yeah. like, love her. She's so great. Look at her makeup. She's so funny. Da-da. And then they move on. Yeah. Yeah. That's you true. know, because how many, how many people like when you're like, you're out and about, like how many people are yelling negative things at you on the street? Never. Zero. Really yeah. ever. Zero. So it's, it's like real. that this these one guys that don't even have the courage to say it in real life. It's yeah. Like, yeah. Yeah. And just fucking sad. Like, I think it's also like it's important to like as you get more successful to make sure you're not a sore winner. Mm-hmm. You know, like you have so many great things happening for you. Don't mm-hmm. look at the one little thing of like a couple of dorks yeah. like are negative. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You know, like yeah. it's like it's in our nature, I think, when you're a perfectionist to like look at the negative, mm-hmm. but like just I know. It's a small price to pay. Yeah. yeah. It's so it's so true. And like anyone that's ever met us in person is like, I can't, I saw you talking about this on, I think your last episode. People can't believe how nice you are or how like, 
nice you treat people when you walk into a room and it's like fuck some of these people must really suck yeah, yeah. it's crazy people that's, are shocked that we're just we just do the bare minimum of being kind yeah i think by the way that's the other thing that is so wild to me is like you know uh this is another thing i'll say sorry which is has something to do with that which is like once you get famous and you're like in hollywood mm -hmm. most of america and i don't blame them or I, I can't speak for the world but i know america thinks that hollywood people are like pedophiles that eat babies yeah do you know yeah, what I mean? I've, yeah. I've, I've seen that <laughs> like, our, our dads think that do you know yeah. what i mean yeah You're so how's that going it's for crazy. you so, yeah so look i did just have a baby your and child. he's delicious <laughs> um and so medium rare i think what's that <laughs> <laughs> for the stem cells um so it's like i also think that once you get into like the fa especially the music business by the way the music business is fucking shady and your behind the scenes is fucking but terrifying. your guy's not like in it in it like he, he hates it i had to drag him to go to the grammys because i'm like you might win you this have is to what like, i love about this guy yeah he's the best he hates it when he didn't talk to one person there he's just like i'm Good. here because I, I do the music and I yeah like the music. i'm not gonna yeah. get into this satanic he doesn't want to be famous i'm like that's crazy because my job is to like i join the illuminati views. Oh, yeah, we're so polar opposites. I'm like, fuck. Like, we need a selfie with Taylor Swift, and then you can go back to yeah, having yeah. values <laughs> and integrity. Yeah. Okay. Do you? But I need a fucking clip. It's so cute. Yeah. I'm like, fuck. I need to talk to Taylor Swift okay. at the Grammys. Military yeah. American hero guy. Yeah. Okay. You're I'm a veteran. Sweetheart. I'm a veteran to these people. I need to fucking talk to Taylor Swift. <laughs> it's crazy. Okay, I go to war every day in the comments. Yeah. You okay? have no fucking idea. I don't think you understand. Yeah. You, that's you're what stolen power. Like, I'm on the front line. Yeah. <laughs> okay. It's you thought crazy. you had to defuse bombs before. Yeah. <laughs> Wait until I don't get yeah. an algorithm. Wait to try to figure me the fuck <laughs> out, bro. <laughs> it's crazy. So it's like, I do think that like, look, the majority of the people that we talk to are like great and they're mm -hmm. like the pearl and the oyster, but there's a lot of just like scuzzy shit that goes mm -hmm. on. So I also think that like, as soon as you get famous, like, and I think this sort of happened to me too, where I was like, oh no, no, I'm an outsider in this Hollywood thing, yeah. you know, yeah. but like people don't perceive you always the way you perceive yourself and they don't see what we do behind the scenes they yeah that's see, the hard part so yeah know? they don't see that we're like oh this is gross like why did they waste all this money on this yeah. charcuterie thing yeah like, no one's thing. fucking eating yeah exactly. that's me at the grammys no one touched the charcuterie board at drives me all nuts the table i'm eating it they're like is this fake i'm like no it's fucking oh, real food i'm putting the shit in my purse oh, i'm no. taking oh it all home yeah. i was <laughs> chugging like, drinks no only people would only drink fucking uh champagne i had my delta sky cup on the, at the front <laughs> table at the grammys i was like fuck i don't put this under the table dude it was when crazy. you're like and like trash outsider coming into it's hard. it. <laughs> My fuck. I know it's always funny to see who the new famous people are because they're always at the buffet. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, they're like getting their money. Like, they're like, oh, you're new here. Yeah. Gotta get my this dress was like five hundred dollars. Yeah. Well, five hundred dollars like, worth of no, prime rib. I always have the the price tag on it. Like, whoa, whoa, don't touch my dress. I have to return this I tomorrow. Know. Oh my god, you ever have someone pull it off of you when you meant to return it? <laughs> oh my like, god. Oh, what did you just do? <laughs> I gotta take this back to BB tomorrow. That was my rent. <laughs> Dude, yeah, it's so bad. You can always tell when it's like someone new to it. And totally. we're always gonna be new. Oh, and, yeah, that's the thing. I don't I'll never fade out of that whether yeah. Yeah, we're just wherever bros. this takes me is and people always hopefully think up. that just because you're famous you're like a billionaire yes so i was sort of famous before i had any money mm -hmm. you know what i mean mm -hmm. so then you're kind of just like trying to tread water and like catch try up to keep up oh yeah yeah oh yeah no uh, that's like, where I, i'm at right now <laughs> i drove my uber here bitch like i <laughs> which one of you am i driving home yeah. please give me a good rating you know so yeah. then you're also trying to like keep up with everyone it's hard playing catch up it, it really is because yeah. like you you, you don't want to miss out but at the same time it's like you're fucking yourself five days from now if you if yeah. you don't our net worth say like seven million i'm like what? what where it's crazy i don't know what that is all based on i know and it's like the follower count thing because half of like the influencers we know in la they are like millionaires i'm like how yeah. are you doing this where? brand deals and, and then i'm like shit. oh but we work at barstool so. but like what's the deal so you have you gone up and done stand-up yet I've I've done a handful of times, but my problem is every time I do a set, I I fucking hate it and I throw it away and I write a new one. Then you're gonna do just fine. Oh, good. That's a comic. <laughs> okay. Yeah, if you don't hate yourself and everything you've ever done, you're never gonna make it as a comedian. Like the goal, you should cringe at pretty much everything you do. Yeah. That's mm -hmm. you're going in the right direction. Anyone that's just like does a set is like nailed it. Like that's not. Yeah. You can't be good. Like I never feel good about anything. No. I do. No. You have no. to be like a neurotic perfectionist that is always like your biggest critic. Yes. I mean, you know? seriously, I'll walk away I'm like that. Fucking sucked. Everyone's like that was the best good. one I've seen so far. Yeah, that's like, that's exactly how you should feel. Supposed to be. Yeah. yeah. Welcome. Oh. Welcome home, babe. I love it. I yeah. do love it. Like every second of it. It's just, uh, 
it's taxing. Yeah. Yeah. No, I get it. But I'll never stop. And that's the other thing about like negative comments for me is Mm -hmm. like, what I have to say about myself is so much worse than any of this. Yeah. I mean, these I negative know. comics, yeah. people are like, you're an unfunny whore. And I'm like, thank you. Wait, if they're I clever I with it, garbage I'll... slut. Yeah. <laughs> when, like when they're clever with it, I'm like, oh, that's actually pretty it's funny. Pretty like good. that's pretty good. Like you know, good I kind of fuck with that one. <laughs> it's a good slam. Yeah. I'm mad at it. You got to appreciate yeah. it when it's funny. Yeah. But like, I think the hardest part is to figure out what you're going to talk about. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. Is that, how do you decide that? Um, it's kind of like whatever's going on at the time kind of thing. Yeah. Um, like my most recent one was just just came off of having like a, a big blow thing. Like I I was doing coke a lot and then I went to <laughs> no, 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 Yeah, no, yeah. I was doing coke it was, a lot. I, I was like, I got my best friends gotta go to rehab. It was, it's great have, for jokes. We already <laughs> have your first special title, Big Blow Thing. <laughs> a big blow About the thing. blow off. <laughs> Blew the fuck up. No, you're dying. That's different. Oh, no, it was scary. Yeah. yeah. The trajectory's like yeah, this. You're like, I just blew up in the Betty Ford parking lot. <laughs> Wait, so what happened? You were doing a lot of it and then. Uh, so I was just doing it, doing it all the time. And because uh, I couldn't get Adderall. You know, so you have to yeah, do blow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. Right, right. Yeah. <laughs> Broke a nostril. <laughs> have to. You know, as one is yeah. want to do. So there's an Adderall shortage. Is that why? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So I just started to do back, bad blow. And I'm like, don't go back on the blow. Don't go yeah. back on the blow. Because it's hard so, for her to get her Adderall now. It's yeah, this is very hard for a lot of people it's to believe. Up. I've never done cocaine. Really? I'm wow. just too worried I'll start too many new businesses. Like, I, it that's, seems that's like, fair. I can't. I can't <laughs> that's your only concern? That's yes, amazing. I can't, like, take on more friends. Do you know what I mean? It's I a social know, drug, yeah. yeah. I already have so many friends I don't have time to see now. I just, like, can't take on more girlfriends in the bathroom of a club. Yeah, well, that's, that's well, that's one of my jokes is, like, basically I found a community with doing coke. Like, I was looking for a sense of community, and oh, I found that with the fellas doing coke in the bathroom. Like, they'd be like, hey, who's, who's coming? Who's coming? I'm like, oh, me, dude. Seriously. And I'll I'll just, I found my friends the there. Thing for Thirty minutes in the bathroom. Yeah. Like, All right. What is coke? What is the? What happens to your like sense of self when you do coke? Is it just like I don't have to worry? I don't feel awkward. Like oh yeah, no, just I I am electric. I'm on fire. I'm the man. Yeah. I'm and projectile I need vomit. that. I try, I, do, I try to get on her level. I was like, dude, because we're best friends. We do everything together. We're out till six in the morning. But I can't do blow because it just made me throw up every time. I like every time I did it, projectile. Yeah, vomit. it was crazy. You're like, definitely dude. pregnant. <laughs> <laughs> for forever for three years for three years I've been pregnant a cancer it's, just, it's a cancer you baby you just keep it's like mi- yeah miscarrying yeah. over yeah. and over. I have like my, I'm hunched so I think it's going backwards I'm like oh my god I definitely it's like when's, where's it gonna come out it's fucking crazy yeah you're insane. right don't go to the guy now that's what I'm saying I don't think I don't want to know they I'm won't know like, what they're whatever. looking at either yeah they're like hey, you're a fucking alien <laughs> <laughs> it's terrifying but dude I kept trying to do blow because she's like you have to stay out all night with me I'm like dude yeah, I will can't do it throwing up everywhere she's just like turns into a superhero i'm uh-huh. like i'm the villain it was it, it was bad it was so bad i was like dude you seriously can't even keep up Pfft, bye yeah, you're a fucking loser i'm like you're a fucking drug addict buddy figure it out it was terrible yeah, it was tough yeah but wait do you ever worry about the fentanyl stuff no i never did not once not because once. i was also I was suicidal terrified. so okay. it got, got it so it's you're like kind of hand hand. yeah i was like oh that's the night yeah do you think the suicidal thing came after doing the blow or was that a before that's thing? been my whole life Blow made and then it I worse, got, though. Blow made it way worse. And then... During... While I dragged on the blow her. or on the come down? Um, come down, but sometimes while on it. Suicidal. Yeah. You're going to be a very famous comedian. <laughs> <laughs> Hate yourself. <laughs> Wait, cocaine problem. <laughs> suicidal. Yeah. Like, yeah. can I manage you? <laughs> this Please. is literally like the trajectories of like Richard Pryor, Lenny, but, like all the greats. Like you're already have the origin story to be one of the greats. And you That's beat it. Yeah. yeah. And yeah. I beat it. Yeah, you beat yeah. it. Which was great. Yeah. Thank God. Can you yeah. have like a secret blackface photo somewhere? Like we need I've got Trump. Think, yeah. You yeah. got Trump? I've got you on Trump. Yeah, so we, have, we, we had a, uh, an election night party one year, and uh, we all wore Trump stuff. We, we didn't know yeah. what the fuck was going we were on. Se- we were seniors, juniors in high school. Yeah, juniors in high school. Because I was like, old enough to vote, and I we was. had a we had a Trump party. It was crazy. <laughs> Our whole town had a Trump party. Yeah. Wait, wait, that, wait, was Trump? When was this? Uh, 2017. The first election. 2016. He was in. And we so had a Trump party. <laughs> And we, we it was like election. We night. were electing him. Trump on my chest <laughs> in Sharpie. <laughs> and I wore a shirt that said, Trump, I'm legal. I don't even know what that means. And I couldn't <laughs> vote, but we fucking, we talked about it all the time. People resurfaced the pictures like they have this like dirt on us. We're yeah. like, we talk about this Trump party that, <laughs> that we, we threw. Like yeah. it, was, it was insane. <laughs> but he was already the president? No, it was no. election night. Okay, so, so we you were rooting guys were for him. pro. You were rooting for Trump. Like it was like a Super Bowl. Yeah, and yeah, we were yeah, team yeah. Trump. Yeah, yeah, I guess. My that. dad told me that if I didn't vote Trump, I was kicked out of the house. 
so well that's where it stems from our dads like i said think that hollywood eat babies and trump is gone. yeah same 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 yeah yeah my yeah. dad on his deathbed yeah. begged me to vote for trump mm-hmm. i mean wow. it's like we i get it yeah i totally yeah so you did right obviously yeah i mean you had to <laughs> yeah, to be honest. Public knowledge. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah I, I look trump is a he, the guy's a genius we'll, we'll talk about that he's a, a comedic <laughs> genius oh he cracks me up yeah i mean that's the thing he's a genius he's a winner I uncle don't donnie you kidding me yeah <laughs> <laughs> also something that i think is to what we were talking about before is like trump like when he did the rnc or whatever in the dnc mm-hmm. hillary i guess would have been the pr- rnc i just said mm-hmm, like i don't even know what rnc and dnc means I, I, these I are stds you both DMC. stopped this weekend yes um i don't wouldn't know i don't go to the guy no hillary had every like katy perry beyonce all these mm-hmm. celebrities uh donald trump had a guy named scott Bayo. You'd have to Google him for me. I don't even, he was on like some <laughs> sitcom in the 40s. I like truly don't know this guy. And that's all that he had celebrity wise. He won. Like Hollywood, like, is not like beloved by America. Yes. Like, yeah. They think we're trash. Yeah. <laughs> they yeah. think that we're disgusting, despicable pedophiles who go to an island to like abuse kids. I know. But wasn't it fun? Yeah, we had a good run. Because <laughs> like, I worked so hard to like get into Hollywood, like crawling like tooth and nail, and then you get in and you're like, oh, you're a bunch of pedophiles. You're a bunch of fucking monsters. You know what I mean? Yeah. And like environmentalists who all fly mm-hmm. private. Like, yeah. Fly pri- if I could fly private, I will. But I never like retweeted Greta Thunberg either. That's the thing. Yeah. yeah. Like you they're pretending I mean? to be environmentalists, but they're doing the thing. That's yeah. I'm at least trying to not be a hypocrite. They're yeah. hypocrites. You know I mean? like, yeah. That's that's what Dave always says. He's like, I don't claim to not be like I'm gonna fly private. I don't say I'm not going to. Totally. Yeah. I feel like he's gonna run for office. People always say that. Really? I wonder if he would. I don't think he would want to. Uh, yeah. yeah, I don't think he likes to. He ma- doesn't, he doesn't like, like to manage or handle people. Like he's just like shut up. I don't sure. like you. Which well, I Trump like that. just like went and played golf. Like he could. Just, yeah, I don't think he really know. did anything. Yeah. Yeah. He I don't think the like, president's more of like a mascot. I feel like. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Like, it has to go through a million to get to him. To yeah. Do there's like a lot of. I feel like there's a. I don't want to say deep state because I don't want this to get. I don't want you guys to get a ding. <laughs> <laughs> like there's like a couple words that I'm We're just like dog of every platform. Like vaccine, deep state, <laughs> say them all. Fake moon landing. <laughs> yeah, I'm just trying to vax injury. I've just like got you guys demonetized. Yeah, we're done. Yeah. All in like one clean. Thank you. We don't see it a bit. Yeah. <laughs> But like, okay, so you go through this and then are you sober now or do you want to be sober? Or? Um, so I am not sober. Okay. I don't plan on being sober, but I had, I, we, I did do dry January okay. and I did kind of take a step back and I'm like, I don't have to drink every single day. I am yeah. also an alcoholic. Okay. Yeah. Like, yeah. Functioning. Functioning but <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I'm it's good though. <laughs> no, I'm with you, dude. I'm I 25. Had, <laughs> I had to stop smoking weed. That yeah. was kind of California weed, hot take. It should not be legal. <laughs> we made a big mistake making weed legal, dude. I mean, it, they deliver it to your house whenever you want. And like, the strains are crazy. Like, you, they get you dummy high. It is debilitating. Like, I can, well, if I smoke weed, I'm just, I don't do anything. And you I just got, like, indica or sativa or both? Anything. Okay. I can't, I don't smoke weed. I can't do it. I can do shrooms a lot. Okay, oh, yeah. Shrooms, shrooms, I feel like, are oddly clarifying. Yes. Yeah. That, that's kind of what yes. it does, right? I really like shrooms. I feel like I'm, like, my most powerful. Yeah. yeah. When I do shrooms, that's what I feel like Adderall feels like to most people. Because I actually mm. have ADD, so when I take Adderall, it calms me down. Yeah, me too. You know, yeah. I was prescribed five milligrams of lo- lo- slow release Adderall to sleep. Oh, wow, shit. you're I insane. Know. Nah. That's crazy. Mass. I can't do Adderall. Mushrooms just makes me feel very like clear and like present. Me too. You yeah. know. But if I mix it with weed, I start googling the Scientology ships. Exactly. Mm. Exactly. Like, I was googling Scientology the other night. Yeah. I saw the- they got me on the commercial. I was like, <laughs> I saw the commercial and I'm like, what is Scientology? And then immediately it goes, Are you curious? And I was like. Okay. Yes, yes I am. <laughs> I start. I'm on the website. I'm like, what the fuck is this? And there's no answer. So you have to go to the Scientology place to find out. And, and it's a castle. Leave. And so yeah. I'm like, yeah. this is gorgeous. I just, they have a super they had their own hospital. Man. You could go to a gynecologist. Finally, exactly. <laughs> I was like, wow. I don't know. I'm bored. Not too shabby. Yeah, I know. I was it's kind of into not it. shabby. <laughs> Here's what I'll say about Scientology. When I first came to LA, a friend of mine. I, I think the most frustrating part about Scientology is they have not tried to recruit me, which makes me feel like I'm not successful. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> it like really. I don't let a fire under your ass. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's part of the reason I work so hard is I'm just trying to get them to send me a pamphlet. And so a friend of mine, when I first moved to LA, is um, this girl, Jennifer.
Jennifer Goodwin. She's awesome. She was on Big Love. She was on that show Once Upon a Time. Mm -hmm. uh, she was in He's Just Not That Into You. She's this awesome actress. And she was in uh, a movie. And she was, like, getting big at the time. Like, yeah. Scientology, like, knows when you're, like, the next big thing, you know? Yeah. And she was, like, we were close with, like, Topher Grace and a couple of people that were on, like, big shows at the time. So we get invited to this, like, brunch uh, and by a Scientologist. And they just give you an address. And we're like, oh, I guess we're going to, like, someone's house. We pull up to a straight-up castle. Oh, my God. I'm, like, fucking Elsa from Frozen. I'm like, this is the <laughs> Hollywood I signed up for. Like, we're in West Hollywood. Yeah. We're in West Hollywood right now. Like, this is, like, fucking Gaza Strip. Like, it's not that sexy. You know, you come here, like, I thought this was, like, Hollywood. Like, yeah. yeah, totally. It's tough. So yeah. I pull up to this, like, castle. I'm like, this is what I signed up for. Yeah. Like, I don't come for money. I'm like, this is the Hollywood I'm into. We yeah. pull up. There's, like, a valet. They take your keys. You go in. There's mm -hmm. this, like, huge brunch. Like, again, like, white trash till I fucking die, dude. They have Literally. chocolate pudding at the buffet. Yeah. I'm like, I, whatever cult this is, I'm fucking I'm in. in. <laughs> I'm in. They the guy me. from Lost is like deep throating jello shit. Like, I'm like, let's go. <laughs> yeah. Because they invite all the celebrities to this like big Sunday brunch, right? Oh shit. They take your car, they don't let it, they don't bring it back until you do like the full tour. That's crazy. <laughs> okay. There's like a part, they give you, if you go in there and say, I want to, I'm in, yeah. they'll give you a place to live, dude. <laughs> You should me. Yeah, it's that easy, dude. You should me. Dude, shit. I mean, it's come on. Sick. Yeah. Okay, you go in and they like take you on this big tour. My girlfriend, who is like, oh, wait, pause. You got more root spray if you want to wipe it that off. That actually I just might be the it. eyebrow. <laughs> that might. Because now you have two eyebrows. Oh, you have doubled you have, up. Is that you my? One, uh, you have one eyebrow is that above my scalp the eyebrow. coming down or my eyebrow going up? It looks like yeah. It got. The there's two eyebrows. Because I three eyebrows. I I drew on my eyebrow and sprayed on my hair. <laughs> Are they starting to... <laughs> oh, you caught it. You caught it. Did I make right? a mistake in doing I this? I took my blue lights off. Yeah, it's kind of gone. <laughs> It, it's kind of gone. You know, it's get, okay. You just look double gone. scared of Scient like Scientology. Way, you're a real one for saying something. Yeah, I, you can't let someone. Go I to have hold. come at a podcast <laughs> looking like a full raccoon, being like, "Bitch!" And they're like, "No, okay." No, sorry. I didn't Is notice. Yes, you did. Yeah, you for did. those of you, you wondering, ask. I did put soot on my. I had a child, and you, your your um, what's it called? Your gums start receding. That happens, but your hairline starts receding as well. As soon as you have a baby. Yeah. So I started spraying it with just like I don't even. Well, know. you can't you can't tell until it's mm. on your face. Okay. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you can tell, but it was you can't. But tell. I also, what do you draw your eyebrows? Do you even? I don't have. I just these are my. These eyes. are just your eyebrows. I'm like I have thick hair. Are everywhere. you like an Armenian person? I I don't know what I am. I really? don't even really talk to my parents, but I think I should <laughs> find it out. No, kind of. My mom hates me right now because I didn't invite her to Vegas. You Sorry, this shit. It's crazy. Okay. Yeah. Come from crazy. But you don't know your, it's, it must be Italian something. I'm Italian okay. something. Yeah. Yeah. But they tell me they're Irish, but they're, they look like me. That's a, you do have pale skin though. Yeah. Italians aren't white. Usually. No, no I'm not. I don't claim to be white. <laughs> what are you? You've got Irish. I'm, I'm, I'm like uh, inbred. I'm inbred at Irish. Irish. <laughs> it's crazy. <laughs> like I've done the 23 and me. I'm like, everyone's a cousin. It's fucking gross. That's <laughs> tough. By the way, every time I do 23 and me, they tell me I haven't given enough spit. <laughs> That's insane. <laughs> I'm just like, I don't know how much more to like deep throat on this fucking I'm like <laughs> sample. So I can't get it. Or else it's they're like just, just like, a horny guy is one. Yeah. Or they're like, you me. don't want to know. Yeah. I don't <laughs> yeah. know what it is. So they, they just gave you a question mark because not enough. Yeah. But I, think it's so I have my dad. I have Dude, a lot. What of, are like, you? It, what's that? What are you? I'm just some like like remix like Eastern Western European remix, but with like 25% Jewish. <laughs> oh, I like remix. Yeah. That's cool. It's yeah. better than mutt. Yeah. 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 I like yeah. remix. Remix is cool. But, like remix. dog mutts are the best. Like purebred is like that's where the She's alcoholism purebred. happens. Yeah. Yes. But do you have addiction in your family? Oh yeah. Me too. For sure. Yeah. Same same. But yeah. like the weed got me. Yeah. Oh yeah. Okay. So I what happened little, with the weed? I went a little gnarly. Yeah. During the pandemic, I mm -hmm. had every color hair, and then I was smoking Been there. weed. Edibles is actually what really gets me. That's like mm. a sedative to me. And yeah. I am, I can't move. I can't think. I can't talk. And I go into like, I get scared. anaphylactic shock. You're I don't even know like how to Bill say Cosby's that word. dream girl. Yeah. And <laughs> I, I was thinking about Cosby when you're talking about pudding. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, oh, he must love that party. Love Bill Cosby in your brain. Pudding is still pudding. the most updated That's association. Crazy. Yeah, he hasn't done anything Not since, right? right? <laughs> no. Just like, take advantage He's of it. He's just America's women. sweet grandpa, I yeah. thought. That's his from Bill Cosby, we love him. He right? just loves pudding. Um, but what, okay, so when, do, like, do you have, like, with what you drink, certain things that, like, you're, like, off limits? Like, for me, like, vodka makes me start talking about Persians. Oh. Uh, I start saying and Chinamen. Oh, okay, there we go, yes. You know what well, I mean? I start being, like, a yeah, lab party. leak theory. 
you know, um, rum I cannot do. I, Who drinks rum, though? I don't know, but I turn into, like, Chet Hanks, and I start thinking That's I have, like... kind a, of cool. Like, that. Jamaican, I have, like, speaking patois. I kind of catch that. That is kind of, like, the vibe of rum, because yeah. you're on vacation, usually. Yeah, whiskey, yeah. I start I making just... everyone watch YouTube videos, like, at the bar. I'm like, like no, 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 listen, put it up to your ear. But did you see this X Factor video? No, keep watching. Yeah, 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 no, no, no. no. Like, um, so tequila I can do, and hard kombucha I can do. Okay. That's Never so had LA. Kombucha. I know. It's good. June okay. Shine. It's uh I invested in this company, June Shine. It's hard kombucha. It's it's kombucha, but they fermented more, so it's like fermented tea, so it has good probiotics. Ooh, you I don't need that. you do not get hung over and the next day you take the shit of your life. Oh shit. Mm -hmm. oh, okay. That's yeah. a good plug. Oh, yeah. Fair. I'm gonna try that. Like no like like I feel like sometimes beer I get like a little bit hungover. But yeah. like so yeah. what do you drink? Um, I'm usually I usually drink cider or Ooh. honestly RBVs because I'm What's white that? trash. Uh Red Bull vodkas. Mm -hmm. That is a throwback. <laughs> yeah. Why yeah. are they? You're out of Four Loco. <laughs> <laughs> no, uh, pirate water is yeah, what we got yeah, going. We on. have pirate water for our alcohol. <laughs> okay, it's for like that, Four like the, the Red Bull vodka is always like an interesting combo because it's like I need more energy to make horrible choices. Yeah. Yeah. That's exactly what just happened in Vegas. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 A little more energy to keep on going. But I do yeah. feel like in like it, I very much identify as an addict. Like as you start trying to manage your alcoholism, it, it that's when it starts get when you're like I'm only gonna have rosé with brunch. Yes, yes. and that's Red Bull vodka. <laughs> yeah. Bailey's on holidays yeah <laughs> like when you start scheduling yeah. when that's yeah like, it's like okay you get fucking problem yeah. Yeah, yeah 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 i'll start yeah. drinking at 4 30 on thursday dude that's like dry january we were like wow this is life changing this is i'm like, like we, have, we have a little bit of a problem yeah when you're just like i have so much energy like look at me not texting any exes yeah, it's like you can wake up yeah. and like go do stuff i'm like this is crazy i'm I, like that's just people that's life i yeah. kept saying i hate to say it but i feel really good <laughs> I like started working. I, I got a trainer. It. I'm like, this is crazy. Now we, I went to Vegas. I forgot about the trainer. <laughs> like I'm so paying. What for do it. you drink? What's your go-to? Vodka. Mm -hmm. I'm a vodka girl through and through. But what do you put with it? I oh, I'm like, just like I'm the other college drink, Tito's and Tito's and Cran. I see. I feel like it's what you see. This is the most alcoholic shit you could say. <laughs> it's not the alcohol. It's what you mix it with. Yeah. But yeah, yeah. true. That's I was like, no, no, no it's the sugar. <laughs> yeah. It's, it's the, the sugar, sugar that gets you. Yeah. It's not the alcohol. <laughs> and then you just drink straight vodka, and you're like, no, yeah. nah, the sugar was better <laughs> now i just can't see do you still do you still drink i still drink but not like wild yeah you know? like i kind of try to like chill with it a little bit i'm trying i'll do the hard kombucha mm -hmm. i'll do like beer sometimes mm -hmm. but i don't do as much our hard alcohol anymore. do you okay. i went a little hard yeah over that's the fair. pandemic and maybe a little too hard and Us i found my, i found you know when it start when you start pushing back the time you start yeah when it gets tricky mm -hmm. when it's like it's six o'clock yeah. Yeah. Uh, what? I mean, uh, it's 11 it's in the morning. Night. We were up late last night. I feel and like. The wet, when I you start and then you're like, but I'm going to go to bed at 10. Yeah. yeah. And you don't go to bed at 10. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. And then also when I drink, that's when other things become good ideas. I'm like, mm -hmm. I wear those mushrooms. Yeah. 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 Where's yeah. that weed? Let's order the weed. Yeah. yeah. Instead of just let me stick with just the alcohol. Yeah. yeah that's the, that's it really where it gets is. Tricky. It just puts you in like, it takes you out of like your, the next day you're just fucking like, I don't want to do anything. I'm worthless. And that's when like you stop working. Yeah. That's what I feel like alcohol does to me. So I've, tr I've been trying to cut like it back. I also like started getting wild deliveries from Etsy of like voodoo dolls. Yeah. Really now? Tell me more about that. When you put <laughs> <Did> it work. <laughs> I mean, well, did it work? <laughs> did you have a headache this morning? <laughs> I think it's working. Um, like I would wake up and like have Amazon note. Like I was like, I don't remember ordering. I'm a functioning blackout. I'm a walking blackout. It, and I people don't know. Alcohol was the gateway to my like shopping addiction. Oh, God. When I tell you like the amount of like like weird little like black girl like Christmas ornaments. Well, oh. you, you always need those. Well, because I was like, my tree needs to be inclusive. <laughs> oh, yeah. See? I need to I need to post this and the comments need to be okay. <laughs> yeah, do you know what I'm saying? I just like, I want to cover all my bases when I post my tree. <laughs> At least you're thinking while you're hamming. And then in my head, I'm like, yeah. I did, like, I would get these, like, uh, uh, I'd be like, I'm supporting black-owned businesses. I'm supporting native-owned businesses. Like, it all came from a good place. Mm. So it's like, I was able to kind of rationalize it. I'm like, when mm. I get drunk, I really start supporting female Everyone. decor, like, dream catcher makers wow. on Etsy. <laughs> like it's it's tricky because when the consequence isn't I slept with an ex or I yeah. crashed my car, I was like having kind of good consequences. Yeah. But my business manager called and was like, "Hey, like you spent seven grand on Etsy last night. Like, that seems to be up? a lot. Yeah, that's too much. <laughs> like, but have you seen this tomorrow? vintage like rocking horse? <laughs> no, but I'm inclusive. Yeah, <laughs> but, like, insane. Do you drink before sets? 
<sighs> kind of. Yeah. Yeah. Sometimes. I feel yes. like I would have to like, get like You know buff. what? Yeah. That's interesting. Why did you ask that? I don't know. I what just feel like. What thread were you on this <laughs> <laughs> What did you Google this morning about me? I just feel like I would have to be. I would need the confidence to do it. And I feel like I'm funnier when, which is fucked. And that's when it's like an alcoholic thing too. It's like, I just feel like I'm funnier or like more spot on when I'm a little w- wasted. A little, but there's a sweet spot. There's I feel a sweet like, spot for sure. Where it like lets your inhibitions down, but you're not numb. Yeah. Or made. Like we do live shows and before we do them, I need to have like a minimum of like three vodkas. Like and a, then drink on stage. And then I walk off like kind of, I can't really remember the last yeah. 20 minutes of the show, like when but I, I feel doing, like if I didn't, I couldn't do the show. Huh. Yeah. Yeah. Which is scary. I think yeah, when I do stand up, I, I like have to have at least four or five before I go up. Just reg- regular beers. Just yeah. beer. Okay. But so you're saying then I was, yes. don't, don't even get me started. For the love of her life. Why? Yeah. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, <laughs> is this the story of when Portnoy said something to you and you just went, Shane Gillis, is yeah. that you? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> You just have Shane Gillis Therese <laughs> all the time. All the time. We were with him. He came to um, my boyfriend's show the other day, and yeah. he walks in the room. I go, Grace, 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 Grace. He's fucking right there. Like, and then the whole Everyone room started going, knows. like, Grace, Grace. I'm like, shut the fuck up. <laughs> shut up. <laughs> and then we walk into the room. Grace is, like, so scared to say like, anything. What's up, bro? <laughs> Why can't we just be normal? I know. I just, like, I get That's, like, Did I don't even get him? starstruck for, like, Did I. Did you talk to him? Yeah, yeah. I've like I've like met him a couple of times before. It's just, I was just I'm a nervous wreck. I yeah, I when it comes too. to boys, I don't do that stuff. And it's then hard. It's, I mean, you did just make me realize like you just held up a mirror. Like, yeah, I think before sex, I do mm-hmm. have to drink a little bit, even if it's um, symbolic. Oh, like I sometimes didn't mean, I didn't mean sex. I said sets. Oh. <laughs> yeah, it's been a pleasure. Goodbye. That's um, funny. Wait, I- <laughs> like wait why the fuck did you just say that <laughs> i was like wait i thought that was like kind of what we were talking about <laughs> oh wow and then you just said yes i do have to drink before sex and I'm like, yeah i guess i feel like <laughs> well listen therapy. i've never had sex sober so if that makes you feel any better oh, that's fucking funny no i until i have a boyfriend i'm like yeah I was like, this is a like very deep question, <laughs> and like so sex. You, you have it to it though, so you do. Th- you made me think a lot because I'm like, why can't I have sober sex sober? Like I just admitted something like <laughs> you didn't even ask me to admit it for no reason. <laughs> Listen, fire's always had a sidekick. I know. All right, and it's called smoke. And yeah, it is. And guess what? We hate that guy. I know. I don't that like it. Guy stinks. It kills people. Seriously, no good. Then Solo Stove came along and pulls off a miracle by kicking singular smoke out of the potty. All How? right. Grace. Let me tell you. To put it in terms more familiar, uh, a regular fire with smoke is the butt fumble and Solo Stove is the helmet catch. Oh, You know okay. what I mean? We're talking football now. Super Bowl. No more having your hair and clothes smell like burnt logs. All right. They come in different sizes, but the most popular and personal favorite is called Bonfire. Ooh. It's a great size for backyard hangs, but also super portable, making it the perfect thing for, for, for tailgating. Wow. Okay. I am just getting all choked up thinking about it. I love Solo Stove. Okay. Me too. So you can head on over to solostove.com and use promo code Barstool20. That's Barstool number two zero to get $20 off. Hundred and ninety nine or more, and ditch the smoke for good. Hell yeah! Oh, that's so fun. Feels good to get off your chest, maybe. <laughs> it just came from like fun to like just like got heartbreaking out of nowhere. I'm like, yeah. It's just, like, like, why did you say that? How else am I gonna black out the childhood abuse? You know. <laughs> oh, that's so funny. <laughs> but yeah, I do I think yes. Okay, before sets, no. <laughs> okay. Okay. <laughs> Stone cold sober when I do stand up. Sometimes I'll like have a drink that I feel like is more like a prop. If I'm going to be honest, like I have uh-huh. it there for the second the show's over, yeah. I can drink it before like the meet and greet mm-hmm. or just kind of like towards the end of the set, I'll have like a little bit when I'm like, okay, this has already gone well. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. And then the sex. The sex. Yeah. No, I can't. I, <laughs> There's I, a ball I've right never there. made eye contact with a man in my life. Uh, <laughs> struggle with intimacy issues. And have yeah. to get <laughs> roofy myself uh, in Ditto. order to have a, a modicum a of time. intimacy. Yeah. yeah. Nope. Yeah. Nope. But right, listen, you. same thing. Same here. <laughs> <laughs> 
happening. I just traumatized me. <laughs> yeah, because I was like, I was thinking, I was like, yeah, I guess I have to have the lights off because I'm insecure about my body and I'll drink a little lights bit. Lights off always. 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 Like, why wouldn't you? Why wouldn't you? When the lights are on during sex, there's always like a black nipple hair. You're like, right? where? I was say, there's always a spot you miss shaving and then you're looking at it and then it's or like. Or it's like you shave the wrong way and it's like razor burn and, and you're like, not a herpes. Yeah. Like, you don't need to see it all. No, you can just feel it. Yeah. You and then you see his like black heads and I start being like, I gotta get it. I, gotta, I like, I gotta get it. What does that tattoo mean? This is like, yeah. <laughs> like, I'm coming. I'm like, what? Well, what does it mean? Is it for another woman? <laughs> I love, are you into tattoos? Your yeah. guy has, yeah, I'm so into tattoos. I'm into tattoos. Have to have it. Have to have tattoos. I think they're so hot. It's like when guys don't have tattoos, I'm like, do you believe in nothing? I know. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Nothing's important. Like obviously commitment phobic. <laughs> yeah. When I see a guy's tattoo, I'm just like not afraid of commitment. I'm, yeah. I'm in. Mm. Yeah. He's I got like a lot it. of everywhere. Everywhere. Nice. Yeah. We're getting tattoos actually after this. Yeah. Oh, what are you going to get? Hmm. We're just getting like two different tattoos. Cute. Yeah. You know what I like about this? You're, what? you're, it's taken me a long time to realize that I think, especially if you're in the public eye, but it's not just, I think everything that applies to famous people also applies to people that aren't famous because everyone's famous in their own town. You yes. know what I mean? Yes. So whether you have a hundred followers, whether you have a thousand, a million, it doesn't matter. Yeah. So it's like, what I like about you is that you are, and I can learn a lot from you because I kind of like, as a comic in the beginning was like, I have to tell everyone all my business all the time yeah. mm. at the expense of my relationship. And if you're in a mm. relationship with me, like everyone's going to hear about your dick and everyone's going to hear about our sex and whether yeah. I'm squirting and whether I'm not, and everyone's going to know everything. Like that's mm. my job. Yeah. Yeah. You know, you know what you're signing up for. Da, da, da. Like you're mm. really good about well, yeah, people protecting like, your relationship. Yeah. People like tear my relationship apart so much where I think anyone else would feel like they have to uh, defend it, but I don't like, I don't have to defend it cause I know it. I'm like, I, you don't even, I don't owe you the defense of my relationship. But also I'm let like, them I, guess. Like, yeah. let, that you That's have, what I liked. I'm like, you, you can hate up, me and hate our relationship. You signed up to have people live vicariously through you. Yeah. You know, whether you have 5 million followers, whether you're with someone famous, or whether you're just like work at Hooters Tampa and are dating like the cute bartender. Yeah. Everyone's Which is, gonna it's make really, assumptions. It's yeah. kind of my dream too. It's yeah. that today. <laughs> yeah. yeah. The yeah. cute bartender, yeah. 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 The one so in Tampa? Like, yeah. People do this with everyone's relationships, exactly. not just famous people. So I think mm -hmm. it's good to just remind ourselves like everyone goes through this, you know? Mm -hmm. It's just on a different scale. Yeah. But what, have you been to Oklahoma yet? Oh, yeah. That was our, we like, the origin of our meeting was we were DMing, but we had never met. We had uh -huh. never talked in person before. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah. I went to a show. I said, hi. And then, but I was with my ex when I went to a show. Uh -huh. So then I broke, me and my ex broke up. I found out he was single. He DMed me. We DMed for a while. And then... I was with you. We were like drunk one day mm -hmm. and I was like, that goes Checks without, out. Say goes without saying. Yeah. yeah. We were like <laughs> wasted because I had just gone through a breakup. So we were getting fucked up. There was yeah. no blow though. Yeah. yeah, yeah no yeah. blow. <laughs> and uh, <laughs> he was like, I'm going on a road trip from Philly to Oklahoma. Do you want to come? And uh -huh. it was like an 18 hour car. I was like, yeah, fuck, fuck, fuck. Yeah. Cause I'm wasted. Then yeah. I wake up. Fuck, do I actually do this? Yeah. And you're like, I don't know. I was like, yeah. oh, this sounds fucking crazy. When are you going to poop? <laughs> like, dude, yeah. I'm like, what the fuck? Like, this is, I'm trapped. It could either be the best thing or the worst thing. It's 18 hours. It's a technical like, first date. Love it. I love a big <laughs> yeah. swing on a first date. And then I just went, picked me up from the train station. I got a little drunk on the train because I was like, this is terrifying. Mm -hmm. I was just shaking when I got off. I'm like, I need to go. I can't know I'm drunk. What the fuck? And then <laughs> I walk out. But he's way more nervous than me. He couldn't talk. He was sweating. I was like, okay, I've got this. This is like, you're you're scared. Why are, why, why should I be? Yeah. And then it was the best. We went to Oklahoma, spent the weekend in Oklahoma, then never looked back. I love this because it's also, yeah. but you, are you prepared for this? So I have family in Oklahoma. Mm -hmm. I'm half from Texas, half West Virginia. Oh, okay. Oh, Oklahoma's Texas. different. But are you like prepared? Like, can you cook? Do it. Oh, see, that's the thing. Yeah. No. Uh-uh. We got to, like, the the family, they're all down. Uh-huh. Yeah. Because there's certain, like, Oklahoma shit you have to know. I know, dude. Like, bless your heart doesn't, isn't nice. Isn't nice. Monster. Okay, go ahead and fuck yourself. Nice. Okay. <laughs> isn't nice. Bless your so heart. Crazy. It means they think you're retarded. Yeah. yeah. Oh, bless your yeah. heart. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm like, bad. oh, fuck. <laughs> I have, like, hand tattoos. I'm like, oh, my God. This is fucking crazy. <laughs> my hair was a little pink when I first started dating him. I'm like, this is not going to go over well. <laughs> was there anything in Oklahoma that was like, uh, what's this? Uh, dude, you know well, about I the mean butter. The, you know they the leave what? the butter out. They lay the, but they the leave butter. They leave the butter out. Doesn't go out. in the fridge. Well, that's no. European. Yeah, no. a <laughs> <laughs> they're kind of classy in that sense. <laughs> Very frog. Very, Very Parisian. Frog. Tulsa is like the Paris of America. Yeah. Oklahoma, exactly the Paris of America. That. I've heard that many a time. 
felt it. Yeah. It's like little things like that. Like, yeah. like the grease by the sink. Mm -hmm. There's always well, just, just like, like a... the fucking roads. There's nothing to you, when you have to drive in to town. Like mm -hmm. they were like, Oh, we got to drive into town to get groceries. Yeah. Like, this is fucking crazy. 30 minutes to get to the grocery They're their store. Own DoorDash person. Yes. When I, there was no DoorDash there, I was like, I can't <laughs> like, fucking no. survive here. This is insane. I DoorDash country. Yeah. Like when my yeah. Dr. Quinn medicine woman, like how are we? Yeah. It's insane. So they live in like a rural area. Very rural. Okay. But it, it was like, it, it was nice. It feels like an escape. So I, it's kind of nice to have best of both worlds. Like okay. I would, thought I would have hated it. Uh, kind of love it. Full, simple life. You're just like, <laughs> seriously. <laughs> Your life like, coach is a bull. There was a horse on like this farm that he bought and I'm like oh my god I have like you're mine like I'm gonna take this is my horse now like Aww. it just felt it, it felt good okay but I can't stay there for too long okay what happens you get you just get like I need to be in New York I need something okay at all time. like this wi-fi signal is killing me yes. Like, yes. 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 I don't want to be too relatable guys <laughs> yeah I, can't, I do both I yeah, can't do I need to go yeah I can't just like go to the mall like this is crazy yeah, well you yeah. grew up in the city too so that's I'm like, like a city girl yeah. at, at heart so I can't I'm not gonna this is like my favorite Reese Witherspoon movie <laughs> <laughs> yeah. city girl goes to Oklahoma <laughs> that's what it felt like. Yeah, like but we don't we don't go back a lot because we're always we're just so busy and yeah. we live in both live in New York so. Yeah, yeah so did you grow up mostly in Oklahoma or Texas or I, you said my West Virginia too Texas my mom's family is Texas Oklahoma and it is extreme religious and those two don't say. like each other Texas and Oklahoma Texas and Oklahoma um I don't listen that's what I've been when hearing. they talk <laughs> I'm just not in the sure. chatter of yeah, the Oklahoma I, friends. Yeah, <laughs> not clear on it exactly. Like, I mean, have something sports wise. Okay. Have family there. And as someone, it's like, you guys get it. Like, you work so hard to achieve, like, what you have. And mm -hmm. I would always go home to, like, see them. And they'd be like, well, thank Jesus that happened. And I'm like, I did it. No, it no. Me. It was not Jesus. Jesus. It had nothing to do with this. <laughs> you know? So it's like, we kind of just didn't, didn't vibe. And, like, there's, like, a gay person in the family. And they're like, that gay person, they moved to another house because they thought Satan was in the house. That's crazy. It's like, see, that. my oh. Oklahoma experience, they're they're very, they're normal. But by, by the way, most red states that get like such bad they're, press like that are the most tolerant, yeah. chill, well, awesome people. They don't give a shit. Tulsa, to Oklahoma is all like, it's just all transgenders. Yeah, 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 yeah. Everyone's hair is blue. I was like, it was, I was shocked because yeah. I was ready to go in and like, be like everyone's terrible and hates yeah. like no, no, everything. no, that's not. I, and I mean, certainly now that's not the case. Yeah. You know, no. this is like a super rural place in a specific. Um, so does your family hate you for what you do? Um, I, I think my family is, is a little, um, yeah, not yet. They don't hate me. I think there's a little bit of like, well, oh, she does these dirty jokes yeah. and women are expected to be kind of act a certain way. And, yeah. You know, whatever. But I don't really entertain their opinions. Um, but I grew up more like like Virginia and D.C. Like so okay. I went back and forth from like a super cosmopolitan okay. area to like a super rural area in Virginia. Gotcha. Grew up okay. with like horses and yeah. farm kind of thing. Oh, so no I shit. think it's I think the best people most well-rounded people can do both yeah mm, i don't 100%. think anyone should be in the city all the time i don't think anyone should be rural i think it's good to be able to I kind agree. of do yeah. both but i couldn't do like where i live in la is like super rural i could never live in like super e cosmopolitan yeah. area anymore yeah mm. it's just i'm too high strung for it and it just like takes up too much of my like bandwidth yeah mm. that's true you know and now you have a baby but aren't you like a like you seem like a very like empathic person like in New York I feel like I'm always like taking on everybody's energy like that's what I have a problem with that I'm like a people pleaser and I never like think about what I need so I'm always like feeling bad for someone or something and it's like it's it is stressful I'll get in New back York. to wherever I am in New York and I'll just feel like ex emotionally like exhausted yeah you yeah know? I got my first hey fuck you buddy the other day it was the best he was like, watch where you're going. I'm like, you know what? Fuck you, pal. <laughs> I, I personally eat that up. That's where I, I thrive. Love, I love Dude, that. I did that at the Adele, Quite the opposite. At the Adele concert, me and my aunt were having a moment. We were sobbing. This girl turns around and goes, can you be quiet? We're sobbing. We, I, stand, I stand up and go, you shut the fuck up and sit down. My aunt gets up. The boss thing came out. I was like, oh my God, I can't believe that just happened. I felt so terrible. But she was a bitch. I'm like, we're sobbing and you're a fucking bitch shut up and then she left the concert i don't like was she alone <laughs> no she was with her stupid fucking boyfriend they were so annoying but we were sobbing me and my aunt were sobbing and she was just like can you guys shut up i was like you shut the fuck up and sit down that is wild yeah. i have a question for i this is something i do love about new york though it's shut the fuck up yeah. how Cow. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. And, then, and then you end up like having a beer with each other after. Yeah. And you talk like, long enough. It's like that's this, the best part. Yeah. It's, it's like, like a hello. Yeah. Fuck you, fuck buddy. You. Yeah. Fuck you, buddy. But best friend. Like, I fucking love you, you fat piece of shit. <laughs> you're beautiful, though. But wait, so like, you're in New York? Trying to fuck? You're in New York? Yeah. Do you yeah. guys like being in LA? 
I I don't hate I don't hate it, yeah. but I don't I don't think I could love it. I, I think know. LA would be good for me because it's so boring. Dude, it has become such a it, like simulation slash like spooky wasteland mm. of yeah. artifice. You're really selling it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's like I don't want to really be here anymore. No, where would you go? It kind of makes sense. I, I, it's tricky because like all my friends went to Texas. Like all the comics went I've, to Texas yeah. with Rogan, you know. Mm -hmm. um, but like, I don't know. Yeah. I love upstate New York. I love upstate New York is it fucks. Here's what so I good. don't fuck with is the killer ticks. I know I'm all that gonna, stuff. I don't there's something off about this. Like I'm not every time I go to the Hamptons for some <laughs> work thing, which I don't fuck with the Hamptons, by the way. Hey, I've never been get out I've of here once, with that I don't shit. Like it, I won't go. Yeah. it is so spooky. It is just like get out. It's, it's get out. It yeah. is. It's the movie get out. It's all, these, all like there's people ah, actually ah, like there's people like clipping the fucking hedges outside. With the the way, the, I'm like what? Yeah, the they fuck? let the they let the help go out and get Lyme disease it's and crazy. they stay inside. And, and they, they just helicopter to the store. I'm like you and guys then, are I, fucking crazy. The Hamptons like they're all like all these rich people like cosplaying to be poor. They have like a windmill, yeah. Oh, but they yeah. got it from like Sotheby's. They have a well. <laughs> yeah, they, like, have a well. they have a well. Yeah, <laughs> and do. it's like it's like oh well, this tree is from the 1800s, and I'm like I know what that branch was used for in the 1800s. <laughs> yeah, and the well has With a couple people. of bones in it as well. Yeah, yeah. totally. <laughs> and then um, and then it's also so wild and spooky because then I mean I'm not like a big like politics person, but like like the richest Republican will be like next to the richest. De You're like, you guys are neighbors. No, you guys are actually all friends. I know you yeah. have dinner together. This is, you all go to the fake fruit stand for with the $8 peaches to, in your G wagons yeah. together. Yeah. Like this is where everyone on the right and everone on the left, like come together for their sick and session. You're all just like rich. It's the one together. time they can find peace. Yeah. Sharing yeah. the wealth. I know. Yeah, but it's like, that's what the, in Virginia, a tick, you just pull it off, you bite its head off, you set it on fire, it's fine. Mm -hmm. This whole thing where you have, one, I got a tick on me in the Hamptons when I was there doing a show at some theater there, and uh, I put it on social media, and Avril Lavigne calls me like five minutes later. She's like, you have Lyme disease. Oh, she's got the Lyme. Dude, she, for four she, years. Oh, she does Yeah, she's got the Lyme. She took a nap for four years. Oh, wow. Yeah. That's why everyone thought she was dead. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone was like, this is a not Avril Lavigne. Well, yeah, they put the clone out while she was recovering Where from Lyme. Where are your yeah. clones? Britney's the one. If there's the clone, it will it's, Biden for sure, but it's dude, probably yeah. Britney. I, I, I don't see a problem. I think it's real. I don't think it's clones. I just, I just think there's like a really good casting call where they, they try to find the, the closest one. To yeah. Biden or to Britney? To all of them. To all really, of them. Because yeah. in Russia, that fully has, like, Vladimir Putin has clones. They get plastic surgery to look like him. There's, like, people that just, like, oh, it's your lucky day. Yeah. You look like Putin. You live in this basement now. All right, guys, quick commercial break. Do you want to know what saved my fucking life? What? Flash IV, body armor. Dude, same. Dude, I'm not even kidding. It tastes so fucking good. And it is so, like, you know when you drink drinks like this, like the Flash IV shit or the other ones, it's like thick. Mm -hmm. This is, it just goes down easy and it actually tastes good. It doesn't taste like medicine. Yeah, this one's not thick. This one goes down smooth. This one helps you out in the morning of. Dude, and I I've also just not even been using it for like hangovers and shit. I have a hard time drinking a lot of water. <laughs> yeah, I know that's so true. <laughs> I've just been drinking these yeah. and I like feel like a normal person now. It's good flavored water. And then when we were in Vegas, I was also mixing it with alcohol. Oh, it's it's a hat trick of, and I'm not of kidding. scores? I was not hungover. Really? I'm not, I'm not even just fucking saying that. It's fucking awesome. We've been drinking it a lot because now it's part of Plan Brie and I'm so grateful. It's a sponsor we really enjoy. It really is nice and refreshing to have a drink that goes down like... Yeah, yeah, they perfect. have the Flash IV, the actual like bottles, and they have the little uh, powders that you can pour into your water, mm -hmm. which is incredible. So if you haven't tried Flash IV yet, you can head on over to Body Armor Store or it's on Amazon and you can get yours today. So go to the Body Armor Store or Amazon and get your uh, Flash IV. It's incredible. We're not going to stop drinking it. Even if when they stop sponsoring us, um, I'm going to be using it forever. I even got it at the gas station. So look out there. Yeah. All right. Let's get back to the episode. <laughs> Are we doing less cocaine now? No coke. No cocaine. Done. Coco gone. Okay. She's Have not my friend anymore. Have you done any of the mind expanding healing plant medicine? Absolutely. I'm yeah. What, I'm, I'm what does girl. that mean? Shrooms? But do we feel like some of this plant medicine is just drugs and we're talking ourselves into it being like, it's the plants want the, to heal us. Yeah. Mm, they told but, me. But they do heal yeah. us. They, they I talk to them. I talked to them. We talked to, talk to the plants. Oh, when we trip balls, we'll be out. We'll be talking to the trees. They talk to us. We <sighs> had this rabbit experience. It was awesome. The okay. palm trees. I those are good the guys. Concrete. I the palm the trees concrete. are the good guys. They're the good guys. They're really good, but then the umbrella posts are bad. 
Listen, Whitney, we're fine. We're good over here. What about, oh, this is an intervention. Um, yeah. We will be taking you away to promises. What about MDMA? Uh, I love it, it but it doesn't really work anymore. Never done it. Should I do it? Yeah. Do you want to be the happiest you've ever been? Here's the thing about MDMA is that I feel like the way it's sold to me is like, it's going to be the best day of your life. The week after is you might want to blow your head off, but yeah. it's worth it. I think I have had it come down seem like you have like a like a good strong head on your shoulders uh. where maybe you won't be doing uh, Molly so much when we first started our friends told us you can t only take it every three months so we'd be like we'd be oh, checking the calendar like, yeah, we plan like, our well, lives right. when's the next time we could do Molly I can wait three months <laughs> when can we feel super happy again I guess we're canceling Christmas this year oh my yeah. god the 29th is coming up <laughs> and then we do it yeah <laughs> I heard Billy Joel's in town. We just go to that. <laughs> That's what we would do. We'd go to anything and do Molly. We did Molly on my couch one time, and we'd mm. do it. We'd be like, okay, it's the one time every three months we could do it. Let's do five of them. Yeah. Let's do it all because yeah. we can't do it again. Well, we broke our, we broke our brains a bit. What does that mean? Do you feel like it made you like on a downer after? Yeah. I don't know if I want the high highs. I used to get the afterglow. What's we that? Did. Which means when like you, you kind of just like. The next couple of days, you're like, life is fucking good. And yeah. then it just makes you want to keep doing it again and again. Uh -huh. Yeah. But I don't, I don't. Which is a bad cycle. <laughs> if you do this? it, if you're going to EDM concert. But I think people are doing it as like, like ketamine. Like the therapy MDMA. Shit. They're doing MDMA for therapy for like suicidal thoughts and stuff. So I think that shit works. Ketamine. My dad's doing it right now. My dad's like, uh, he's a hillbilly of the North. Like he nice. never believed in drugs or anything. And he had an accident at work where he got electrocuted. And he's doing ketamine treatment for it now. Uh -huh. And it's, I, he's night and day. It's crazy. I did it during the pandemic. I did, but I didn't do the drip. I did, it was like a remix. It was like ketamine, uh, oxytocin, like a nasal spray that only stayed for like 30 minutes or something. Oh, wow. I forgave everybody. Wow. Did they, did you go into like a room? It was like a controlled thing. It was like a doctor prescribes it. Mm -hmm. And then I would be like on zoom with a therapist, like oh, working through wow. stuff. Oh, I was like the man who molested me. Like hurt people, hurt people. Like, I mean, that's how you go. So I actually got so far into forgiveness that I started letting toxic people back in my life. Oh, like fuck. I had to stop. I got too healed. Oh, <laughs> that's, that's, that's a crazy. crazy. Yeah. I was like forgiving people to the point of being like, come live with me. Like, you know, oh, I, and I was like, yeah. So I had to kind of, but like you only could, you know, you only do it for the amount of time you need it. Yeah. yeah. You know, I think the key is when you start doing it like recreationally, it was mm -hmm. like the pandemic and it was like inviting friends over and being like, let's all do this. And yeah. It's like, okay. This is like, keep it, it to be medicine. It's a line. Yeah. Yeah. Cause then you don't line. want it to lose its effects. Isn't that yeah. crazy? You can just do that and start forgiving people. Wild. It's kind of scary. I didn't even realize how much anger I walked around with, how yeah. much resentment I walked around yeah. with. Like that shit's just like poison. Yeah. Oh, oh, shit. It helped me with just being like very like in the present moment and kind of just like with like acceptance stuff. Mm. That's really good. That's great. Yeah, until so. until you start ruining your life again. But yeah, yeah. yeah. Until yeah. you start like moderation. On it. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. That's scary. Why am I on the four or five? Um, <laughs> but yeah, it seems like a miracle. It feels like yeah. But where are you now with your uh, negative thoughts? Um, st they, you know, they're, st they're still lurk. I, that's like a that's like a friend that'll always be there. Okay. Or an enemy that'll always be there. Mm. But um, yeah, I think it's impossible to escape. Do you know Maria Bamford, the comic? Was that Maria Bamford? It's yeah, a, it's yeah. A comic. She did a she did a whole special about it. How she had these like suicidal, like intrusive thoughts, mm -hmm. and they would, you know, and she was she's able to like separate them the way you just said. Like this is just a someone heckling me, basically. Yeah. And she like checked herself in a couple times, like told the story about it, about sort of like those voices and how she's able to go like that's not me. That's like. Yeah, it, it was it's a tough realization. Like it got really bad. I went to a mental hospital and it was great because I was able to be like, oh, you guys are fucking crazy. I'm not. Yeah, 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 <laughs> That yeah, was yeah. kind of like a nice thing. I had suicidal thoughts after I got, um, I had uh, uh, boobs put in, installed. Um, and the first, <laughs> the, first you got the, boob the first surgeon was like some ratchet ass guy off LinkedIn. I don't know. And he like cut through a muscle. So I had to get, oh. I, in my fourth special, I, I told the whole story about what happened. But anyway, so after I got the second surgery, uh, I'm, you know, back in my house, you know, you're not on drugs that long, mm -hmm. but I started having just, they weren't like, I'm going to kill myself. I hate my life. They were just mm -hmm. like, oh, I'm going to just like go out into my pool and I'm just gonna hold. like, it was very logical. Yeah. yeah. I'm going to fall down these stairs and break my neck and die. Like it was yeah. kind of just like very matter of fact. Yeah. And I called my therapist and I was like, uh, I think I'm having these like suicidal thoughts. I've never had suicidal yeah. thoughts like this before. Like I have dogs. I'm never going <laughs> to. 
<laughs> leave yeah. them like I could you know and she said oftentimes after you've undergone anesthesia or surgery because mm -hmm. your psyche thinks you're dead mm -hmm. because you would have died without anesthesia oh, yeah like why? our psyche I've never heard me that. after I got my installation yeah I was like <laughs> suicidal and Crazy. I'm like what the fuck I thought this was gonna make me feel good but think about it if you're in before anesthesia mm -hmm. I mean 50 100 years ago if someone cut into your chest like you would you that die. means you're getting killed you're, di you're dying so yeah. anesthesia and, brings anesthesia you fucks me up like I, I stay asleep too long mm. so like i couldn't wait didn't wake up for like four hours after the first time it was crazy i thought we had a joan rivers on our hands yeah it <laughs> was, was sorry and you were jealous <laughs> You're like i'm the comedian around <laughs> i want to do Did that i'm out here in the lobby <laughs> saying oh, i'm fucking living the dream in there <laughs> did you get them done here N in new york yeah then you don't really show them off no i got like very like modest i went to like a female surgeon paid the most money because i was like super scared i was i didn't want to be like big bimbo yeah you just same thing i, I just my, wanted to like look better in a bathing suit for myself totally personally. totally because I, I have trauma from like this fucking mean girl that i'll never forget i was eight years old she was like when are you gonna fill out that bathing suit and it stuck with me i'm like that's crazy puberty you cunt now she's a fucking tr she's a hippie wow. and she's a healing hippie i'm like you're a fucking loser it's all the oh, yeah. it's yoga teacher the biggest bully i was like you were the i knew it High school, fucking bully. they're life coaches, they're Reiki healers, they're yoga instructors. It's crazy. Any way to be superior because mm -hmm. yes. they can bully you. Yes. Yeah. yeah. You know they what can mean? tell you what you need, yes. what you need to do, it's another again, way. in a different form. Totally. I'm like, you fucking. It's like, you need to be taking this vitamin and, yeah. oh, you're drinking tap water. Mm. Da -da. It's like a whole. Yeah. It's yeah. like this the twisted guy. way of being a narcissist. Yes. 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 Totally. It's like yes. under the guise of, like, I've been chosen by God and, like, I'm calmer than you. Mm -hmm. Oh, and I'm yeah. healthier than you yes. and I'm better it's than so you. It's so demeaning. I'm yeah. like, this, you're not healing. You're, you're oh, traumatizing. Your psoas is tight. Yeah. Mm, Typical. Cool. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I can feel is. your energy. Yeah. 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 Yes. Like you have bad energy. Yeah. We need to fix this. I can fix this I cannot with the wellness bullies. Oh, my oh, God. It's oh, you don't so use charcoal toothpaste? Yeah. yeah. You're a bitch. <laughs> a like, monster. It's got to be tough out here, too. To fucking have a mouthful of cum. You're crazy. Yeah. <laughs> it's insane. The, the switch up is insane. <laughs> and it's always them. But yeah, the suicidal thoughts is tough. Yeah, no, yeah, it's totally tough. Can I ask yeah. you one question? Sorry, yes. this, um, uh, I don't mean to go on forever. Um, the You were at the Super Bowl. Yes. Did Alicia Keys not oh, wear I, makeup? I didn't, I didn't go into the Super Bowl, though. Okay, well, just, you saw, you watched it, whatever. I don't think she did. Because that just made me think about, like, yoga instructor. Like, you don't wear makeup. Like, when you get, I get judged sometimes, I feel like, for wearing makeup or yes. being, like, mm -hmm. feminine as a comic or something like that. Yeah. And I was just sort of thinking about that just came up. And didn't Alicia Keys say, I'm not wearing makeup anymore? Yeah. And then last night, I think she wasn't. I think, yeah. Yeah, I was just mm. thinking about it. It was mm. like, she looked amazing. Yeah, it was sick. She was just, nice to she watch. She just looks so amazing no matter what. Though. I know, like, if I, I look like her, I, I wouldn't like, wear makeup of either. Of course, you don't need to wear makeup. Yeah, oh I mean, I've been putting on blackface to look like her like, <laughs> this, this entire interview. <laughs> I'm like, sometimes I have to wear makeup. <laughs> was there anyone that you saw up close that you were like? Mm, I don't think so. Tom Brady looks like an AI um, you thought person. he was really handsome, though. I feel and like he did he's it starting to deflate. He, he, People are saying that. There's, yeah. there's some, like the football. Watch yourself. We're okay, from I, Massachusetts, all right? True. That's true. Okay, Whitney, so we can I love you, now. but come on. <laughs> <laughs> but hold on, but don't. That's okay. a dynasty. So my <laughs> six rings. No one else has had it. Okay. Those are my royals. <laughs> so my best my friend is Boston Patriots maniac. He's kind of mad at Tom Brady right now. And is he single? Uh, he is, <laughs> and he's all yours. Perfect. Yeah, he's, <laughs> she wants someone terrible for her. It's so infuriating for me. I have I'm your so guy. I'm so scared. Oh, perfect. Um, but so I mean, it's it's a whole thing. But he's mad at Tom Brady ever since he threw the com laptop. He's mad at him. Mm. Wait, when did he? What are you talking about? But I'll, I guess Tom Brady threw a laptop. Did he threw a laptop. I don't. A couple don't. years ago. Maybe we're not oh, from Boston. I thought you were a fan. Yeah. No. No, we're so bandwagon. Ever since they stopped winning, we were. Like, I was gonna fuck say, that. aren't you go mad now Bill's that he mafia. left? Oh yeah. No. As soon as he went to the Buccaneers, I was like, oh, I don't really fuck with the Pats anymore. Yeah. yeah. Really? Well, because they stopped winning, and it was it was devastating. Yeah, it was awesome though. We were in like high school, college when they were on their winning streak. So okay. like parade, parade, parade. It okay. Was, it was the fun. drinking. It was excuses. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Uh, no, I remember. Um, I don't know if you'll uh, even know this because I didn't, but um we dated ages and ages ago and one time I like you know when you're like at your guy's house and you like like want to put on like his shirt yeah. like there was like a shirt yeah, on the yeah. Like, I'm just gonna like come out in this like yeah. shirt you know what I mean and, like came so to funny. here like so cute yeah. like, and I like came out and he was like take it off and I was like why he was like that's the lucky shirt oh my god it was like the luck it said Nomar on it there's a baseball player Nomar who was like a 
Boston player, and he's like a screen, and like he's like, I, and then I was like, okay, sorry, I'll put it in the wash. He's like, you can't wash oh, it. Oh, you can't wash oh it. No. It's like, dude, Boston fans are just on oh, another legit. level. Yeah. It's legit. I'm yeah. like naked and like looking cute, and he's just like screaming That's at me. That's traumatizing. I know. And then I dated another guy who was a, a Boston fan, and I guess every time I sat on a certain part of the couch, they won. Oh wow! Oh, that's like fucking silver lining playbook. Yeah, yeah. Like, that's you know crazy. how like guys are like, ah, every time I go to this bar, they lose, so I can't go to this bar anymore. Oh yes. yeah, it must be hard. It's like, a tough way to live your life for sure. It must be hard knowing that they that they sit in the locker room and are like, is is Mark at that bar? I guess we gotta lose. Like, I don't <laughs> think that, I know, but there must be so much pressure that you're what they hinge their <laughs> their scorecard on, <laughs> like, and they really think it too. Totally, I'm so, like, it's so fucking weird. <laughs> it's crazy. And then so I would like sit on this which by the way i didn't sit there the whole time yeah as the game was ending i'd come and just sit on the you know side of the couch and watch it whatever but he decided that that's the spot was the thing yeah. <laughs> two years after we broke up he's like can you come over Shut and sit on the pete i'll never forget it will you come sit and i'm like he's got a new girlfriend <laughs> like and i did it <laughs> Well, it's nice to be and someone's they lucky. Won. They did win. Like, right? That's how it Just somebody's works. lucky charm. It's a beautiful thing. Totally. <laughs> I'm like sitting on the edge of the couch. It's so awkward. I'm like, so how have you been? Like, it was like, I was like, Pat's fans are just fucking maniac. But I knew that he couldn't psychologically handle me not do it, you know? So you got to do what you got to do. Oh, you're so kind. I want to be beautiful. someone's lucky charm. Yeah, it's like, it's like the, the Boston sports. And I went to college in Philadelphia, so Philly's pretty intense. Oh, they're Philly's pretty intense, too. Yeah. But you have a, re- that's your religion. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. You it know? is. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's God. Tom but Brady it, was God. And there's rituals. Like, and Tom you Brady, have to sit like, on that he's couch. Just, he, what is it? Is he? Is it autism? Is it Asperger's? Is it work at, like, it's a, a pretty boy syndrome. Pretty boy syndrome? Yeah, mm-hmm. he just walks around. He's just, everyone thinks he's so handsome, so he's, he's just, like, doesn't know what to do with himself. He's awkward. <laughs> yeah. Awkwardly robotic. Uh-huh. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And then, did you ever see Giselle and him around Boston? No, no, I wish. Really? Yeah, no, that was She's like. So, I'm, I'm so glad they broke up. Really? Sorry, I don't know. I just feel like she needed that. <laughs> yeah, it felt like, dating an athlete is hard. Dating who wouldn't musicians re- hard. Who I know, but who wouldn't retire? He like retired and then was like, I can't do this. I'm going back. But the kind of person who like is a winner like that can't stop. I know. Yeah. Remember when like Michael Jordan retired and then he's like, I'm gonna play baseball and it was just yeah. Like, Can <laughs> you just take, go to go chill yeah. with your kids. Go to Hawaii for a month, but like yeah. winners can't stop. I know it's a little scary. Yeah. I think you get addicted to it too. I think that's what's tricky mm-hmm. about dating performers mm-hmm. or like police officers, firemen, people that have like high octane jobs. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I think they get really addicted to that adrenaline. Yeah. I find it too on the other side when someone's dating me, uh, I'm like, yeah, everything's kind of boring. Yeah. You know? Yeah. Like I love what I do so much. Yeah. Comparatively. Like I was gonna say, I feel like we're all the same way. Yeah, there's I mean there's something nice about that and then there's something it is know, a little feels like sabotaging. Yeah, yeah, it's hard to it's like I think it's a skill to be able to be boring with your person, especially since we have such like exciting jobs. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You have to be like, wait, it's not that we're not that this isn't sexy and this isn't fun. It's just like my highs are so high. Yeah. yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. That's what I did yesterday instead of like we had tickets to go to the Super Bowl, but we just stayed in bed and we're like this is cute. Perfect. You just need it sometimes, though, because this is a lot. I feel exhausted all the time mentally. Yeah, it's yeah. A, it's a lot of it's a lot. It's draining, but it's also just like, what am I like? Unless you are so craving socializing, yeah. don't do it, because then you're gonna be like, hi, hi, and people are gonna think you're a bitch. Yes. Yeah, that's the thing. Yes, you know. So yeah. it's taking me a long time to be like, I should go to this. Like, when is the next time I'm gonna get front row seats to this? Da 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 da. And mm-hmm. I'm like, if I'm not at a hundred percent, so true. I I'm gonna go at sixty percent, and then everyone should just think I'm a bitch. Hate me. No, yeah. And like knowing when to cut your off, cut yourself off, like when to go, when not to go, is like a superpower in itself. Yeah, too. it's like when you shoot a special. Like my biggest piece of advice to shooting a stand-up special is do not talk to anyone the day you shoot it. Mm. Like don't be on the phone being like I'm shooting. Just like conserve all your. So by the time you get on stage you want to connect so badly oh, yeah, that you're so advice. present so it's yeah. like things like award shows and parties and events and stuff like don't talk to anyone all day so you're like at a deficit Ready of socializing go. yeah so then you can be like so connected with everybody yeah. even like hair and makeup people i'm like i can't talk i like i'll blow that, my yeah i want to like be in silence for that but then i'm like fuck i feel bad do they want to talk totally oh, and yeah. then i'm like i'm not a bitch i just don't want to fucking talk i just right say now. it i always just say like i yeah. need to conserve energy mm-hmm. is it okay if i don't talk if I but i would totally love here. to and don't worry i will tag you yeah yeah <laughs> <Totally>. <laughs> Let's just like get to the chase of yeah. what you really want anyway. Yeah, you okay. It, you you don't have to bottom me up, yeah, sweetie. I'm not gonna like yeah. be under the delusion you want to talk to me about traffic for two hours. I know. I'll tag yeah. you. I got it. I can't do small talk. Oh, what an LA thing. thing. I cannot do small I talk. Can't. I say that to people. Me too. I say and then I don't do people small think talk. I'm a bitch. But here's this: if you say it in a way 
that's liberating them from yeah. having to do it. Yeah. A lot of times I will just like grab their hand and go like, this is totally nothing personal, but I would like to live, like liberate both of us from having to make small talk. Yeah. And mm-hmm. Cool people will be like, thank you. Yeah. yeah. So what yeah. antidepressants are you on? Yeah. 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 Like, let's just <laughs> get the to the big stuff. talk. Yeah. You know what I mean? <laughs> um, but like I do, I mean, maybe, you know, you you already do what you do and people already know that you're like outspoken and authentic mm-hmm. and yeah. to just be like, I really don't want to hurt your feelings, but like, I'm just like conserving energy right now. Yeah. yeah. I know I come off like a blathering, like nonstop fucking talking like mess but like yeah. i would love to be quiet for the next couple hours is that okay yeah that's, that's fucking that's a brave thing that i need to learn how to do yeah i don't I think anyone's like bummed when they it's like when someone cancels plans the person you cancel on is usually psyched yeah it's like i can't cancel it's like why because you would make their night yeah, yeah. You know, <laughs> who are you yeah be super sure stoked be psyched yeah. to not have to make awkward small talk to you especially yeah. when it's makeup they're trying to do your face yeah like, I'm sure they'd be psyched for you to stop moving your face. Yeah, mm. that's very true. You know, but I do think there's that, I have that codependent thing too, like yeah. people pleasing thing where I have to like entertain people all the time. Oh, yeah. yeah. That's something I need to work on for sure. Oh, I'm obsessed funny. with you too. Oh, We're obsessed this. with you, dude. Big, big fans I feel over like here. You're, do you guys ever have, like, since you guys, this podcast has gotten bigger and since it's got, you've gotten famous, has it affected your friendship at all? I don't think no. so. No. No, we'll, all be, we'll always be uh, good pals. Yeah. I think like, it's because if we don't have guests it's just us talking about totally what we would talk about without a camera totally totally so it just feels like we get our little conversations in yeah yeah and right. then they're aired to everyone and then people are like oh these guys yes. are retarded but that, that's <laughs> the tough part it's like uh two pals having a conversation after they haven't seen each other for a while you're gonna say some crazy shit and uh sometimes it doesn't hit well yeah but like do you ever like like feel because i feel like in the like comedy community mm-hmm. like a lot of what was keeping us sane was us being able to like attune to each other, like me and like Theo or Bobby Lee or whoever, or being mm. able to be like, you know, in the green room talking. Yeah. But now we're like, let's save it. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah. Like we have to monetize all of our conversations and we've stopped talking just in private for yeah. free. Yeah. <laughs> like, you know what I mean? I know, it is weird <laughs> so, sometimes. Like, do you ever find that you're like talking on the phone or hanging out and you're like, oh, No, we? no, she's, she's been traveling a lot. So like we haven't really talked like outside of on on camera so it's like good we're able to catch up yeah on like camera i guess on camera okay so you're like yeah. let's just save it wait yeah okay yeah no that's yeah. good yeah, is there good. ever something that you're like what do you not share like what do you like we should never share fully an open book which yeah, totally. is sometimes it's a terrible it's thing yeah but i think it's that's why people like us but we talk about everything i think it's like i this is a 12-step program thing i think you are only as sick as the secrets you keep Mm. yeah you know yeah. and yeah. i think that like there's just something about being a, like i'm just at the point where i'm like with my personal life there's yeah. i'm like you know what i don't need to share this about my yeah. man mm-hmm. yeah or i you- don't share anything about people that wouldn't i share everything about myself but i would never share something about someone else if they didn't give me the green light to and also knowing like your behavior now reflects on your man yes. so it's like we can't talk shit about a musician yeah. or yeah. something like that yeah mm-hmm. just like a, a respect thing now it's just like okay i'll be I'll just put that stuff away that I won't talk about. I think that we, and I'll just speak for my like girlfriends and women. I think that sometimes there's a little bit of an overcorrection now where women are like, well, I'm going to say what I'm going to say and I'm being authentic. It's like, yeah. there's a difference between lies and omissions, you mm-hmm. know, and you can't gossip about your man. Yeah. Even with your girlfriends. Yeah. You know? So when I have like girlfriends, they'd be like, and my guy, and I went through his phone. And I'm like, watch what you tell me. I've never been a sharer about my relationships ever, ever, like ever. I've never shared anything no? personal. I don't know. I just feel like a relationship is a relationship. Huh. And you keep it unless it's like something, but nothing bad has ever you happened. Talk to like a therapist or like, no, I'm, that's a problem though. I keep it all in. So hmm. I'm like, maybe I should, but also I don't want to, I don't sure. have the urge to share anything. It's weird. I've always just kept Do you it. Your married parents. No. Huh? They hate each other. They were, huh. they got divorced when I like left for school though, but they should have never got married to begin mm. with. I think that's thing. most of our parents. Yeah. yeah. I'm like, so, I mean, you how never. else were they going to buy a house if yeah. they didn't get married? <laughs> yeah, literally. I don't think it was about like love back then. You know, it's about tradition. It was about we need a, a home. Yeah. It's like, I need health insurance. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, um, but uh, that's really interesting. I didn't yeah. have that. I always would like tell, as soon as something would happen, I'd be like, and this girl called and da da da. And I would tell all my friends. Mm-hmm. And then a week later, of course, you're back together and all your friends hate your guy. And you're like, yeah. what do you mean? We're back to, what do you mean? You know, yeah. it's taken me so long to to be like like do not gossip about your man yeah i don't i Sometimes just you have I to get it off point. your chest though That's smart yeah, yeah. But, but i also it, feel like if you need to talk so much shit about your man maybe you shouldn't be with that man mm. but i don't know like i just i've just never had like the innate urge to talk about my relationships i feel I like, like relationships are between and i also think it's taken me a long time to realize that like love is such a weird concept like what is love even mean you know what is really love is. that's what i've been trying to figure out uh, it, <laughs> are you asking <laughs> yes. you have it whatever you have with red bull and vodka nervous love, love. <laughs> <laughs> but um is respect 
Yeah. It's like, I, like, I realized like if I respect a man, that's, that's love. Mm -hmm. That's actually, I feel the same way. Cause like you can love someone and not like them. Yeah. You know, mm -hmm. when you like, like someone enough to be like, okay, this happened, but it's like, I'm not going to tell anybody about it, mm. you yeah. know, and I'm going to assume the best, uh -huh. you know, yeah. that, that is great. Yeah. Love is a weird, it's a weird thing. I'm and such a brat about that because I feel like I've wasted so much time be staying in relationships longer than I should have because the person I said, I love you. And then we said it. And do. It, I stayed in one relationship for an extra year hundred because I'm, I'm like, like well, he loves me and then I said it back so we love each other so it's like yeah. these three words that are just and it's like but we're just fr like we're just friends and I do love but I don't want to be it's so fucked up and then I don't want to hurt them yeah and then, but in yep. the long run you are but you're hurting someone because you're taking a year of their life if you yeah. know that you're not going to stay and you're just wasting their time or yeah. whatever but like you know for me like I'm having this new experiment with this new dude where I'm like let's not do this thing where we're both like Every time, like, we go under, like, a the flower canopy, it's like, should we say I love, you know what I mean? Yeah. Like, let's just, like, not, because, like, you know, after a couple months, it's, like, what, the countdown of when I love you is going to be said, and it's yeah. just, like, stressful. I'm like, let's not do it, because also, I love you is meaningless if the other person doesn't feel loved, because yeah. a lot of times yeah. we use it as a manipulation. I grew up in a house that was like, but I love you. And yeah. I, yeah. Like, I love you, but you didn't pick me up from school, and, like, yeah. you know. But I, I love you, so it doesn't matter. I didn't feel loved, but my parents, it's like gaslighting. Yeah. So, with my dude, I was like, let's do this thing where when I feel loved by you, I'll tell you that you love me. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And when you feel loved by me, you'll tell Ooh, me. I like that. So that I have to earn it. I like that. So that you oh. actually feel it. Because I feel like there'll be lulls in relationships where totally. you're just like, no, I love you so much. Like, you can't do this without you. I love, like, I love you. I love you. Just to say it. Just and like to, love is a verb. Yeah. You know what I mean? Because it's like, I feel like I've heard a lot of people say I love you, even though I didn't feel loved and it would like confuse me and like build resentment and whatever, you know? And I would also use it in lieu of showing up for the person. Mm -hmm. yeah. Like, love you, love you, instead of just showing up in the ways and that- And doing, make, like, do it, like, do it. Do it. Instead of you just know? say it all the time. So, like, it's now, it's sort of like, you love me, like, yeah. I, you know. That's better, It's I like, like I do, yeah. Wow. Oh, that's sweet. It's like, true. Yeah, you gotta feel yeah. it. Instead of, also, because sometimes you're like, it's been six months, like, we need to say this. Yeah, like, every five, five minutes. Like yeah, like, yeah. I feel like we need to say it by now, you know? Yeah. yeah. And the worst is when someone says it, and you're like, Thanks. I know. You're, yeah. You rock. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no one's Love ever Shane said Gillis. it to me. I don't know. Yeah. What? Who are your favorite <laughs> comics besides Shane Gillis? Oh, uh, shit. See, I, I really fucking hate this question. Uh, by the way, I, I hate this question. I hate this question. So because people judge you I so hard so on your I am so sorry answers. I asked you that. <laughs> no, and it's, it's a good What's question, like but it, I hate comedian. that question. I'm asking question. you the two questions I hate getting. The yeah. Word. I rescind it. I'm sorry. Yeah. I take it back. Shut up. I'm sorry. What do you not try to answer this. <laughs> I, I, I just, it's... Yeah, I, I hate more, the question. I'm, I really I do. It's more this. I want to like see you perform, and I'm trying to see who your favorite comics are, to see who your influences are, to try to like guess what your yeah. performance it, is like, and I should just come see you, or we should yeah, come do a show together. I actually I booked um I booked two shows for when we get back, just to put the fire under my ass to get nice. back out there. I'm doing a tour in the fall if you want to oh, do no any. Oh no shit! Yeah. Oh, wow. I mean, sick. you have your own. You know, but it'd be fun. What's for the, 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 the name of your tour? Like you should do like when I do the Beacon in New York, you should do a set. Oh, I, you know what? Sick. I love that you just asked me the name of my tour. I have, it is the hardest thing to do. Yeah, it really is. Yeah. Nobody gives a shit. And I cannot think of a name. Really? I wanted to call it um, "Come Laugh or Dying," and like everyone that. was I like, like "Yeah," but everyone was like, "That you can't do that." Uh -huh. Why? I know. I, know. I was like, "We're dying." LOL. Like I just thought it was funny, <laughs> but everyone was like, "No, you can't have on a billboard have like we're dying." And I was like, "Okay." But why not? I don't know. Who's telling you no? I don't know. The, like it's marketing tour names are really hard. Yeah. Yeah. So you don't have a name for it. You yet? guys did one, right? Yeah, but we just call it the name of the like. The yeah, podcast. the name of the podcast. Yeah. I know. I don't know what to name it. I'm like mm. sort of because I also it's like I do have a kid now, but I'm not gonna be like now everything's mom driven because yeah. it's like I'm a mom. But is I don't, that annoying now that you've had a kid? Is that all that people want to talk weird about? Weird because it's like I'm a mom, but I'm not like a maternal person. Yeah, I yeah. am like with him, of course. and it's the coolest thing ever. But yeah. I'm not like it's weird because you're not just a mom all of a sudden. It's like yeah. it's not like the font on my phone's bigger now. Yeah, yeah. that's not that's not <laughs> who yeah, I, I don't am. Know how to FaceTime anymore all of a sudden. <laughs> yeah, like yeah, it's like, like have a kid. It's now. yeah. It's just kind of like you've got this awesome thing. So it's like, it's not like everything from now on, all I'm going to do is talk about having a kid. Yeah. You know what I mean? So yeah. I, not that there's anything wrong with that. Yes. And maybe I will later. I don't Eventually, know. I'm just in this transition period where it's like, I'm, I don't identify as like a mom. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. yeah that's, not, that's not who it's you coming. are. Maybe. Yeah. Well, like, who knows? I, maybe it's not. I'm still letting it change me and I don't know how I'm going to change. I mean, it, it does instantly change a lot of things about you. Like, you know, I live like in Topanga, like in the woods and mm -hmm. I've got all these like coyotes outside my house and I used to be like, like, we need to coexist with them and this is their home and I'm 
I'm on their land. And now yeah. that I have a baby, I'm like, let's make Shoot hats them. out of yeah. that. Yes. <laughs> let's make a v coyote vest. Yeah. Like, I don't, you know what I mean? So it does change you a lot, but I'm still kind of like, you know, figuring it out. It's not your shtick. Yeah. 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 Ever wish you could call a foul on your wireless carrier for the hidden fees? Then it's time to switch to Visible. Ooh. Switch to Visible, the wireless company with nothing to hide, and get one line wireless with unlimited 5G data powered by Verizon. Just $25 a month every month, taxes and fees included. One wireless plan, just $25 a month, taxes and fees included. That's insane. No hidden fees, Bray. That $25 a month with everything included? Mm -hmm. I'm actually, I feel like I'm just hearing that for the first time. We've done this ad. That's fucking incredible. There's no gotchas. No, that's crazy. That's huge. Because you know what gotchas are. Foul ball. Foul ball. Wow. Yeah, so we, we don't want that. We want no. this, all right? We yeah. want to stay visible here. Yeah. All right, so bench wireless with hidden fees and switch to visible. Rate with service on the Visible plan for additional items and network management practices. See visible.com. Switch now at visible.com. <laughs> We're all trying to wind this down. Yeah. Oh, we have a game we could play. Oh, fun. Yeah, we can end on that. I just don't want you to think I'm trying to keep. No, no, no. Oh, no. No, this is I'm perfect. having a blast. This is a great personally. episode. I have a podcast, and when the guests are just, you have to do so much work. I'm trying to like be a guest yeah. that you don't have to work too no, hard. No, it's, it's great. On Sometimes you have I'm a guest where you're like, fuck. Yeah, when you're just like, and this. there's a yes, no, and you're like, Jesus, I'm man. like, this is a podcast. You signed up to talk. I hate yeah. you signed up to do the thing. Why aren't you doing the thing? Totally. I, but yeah. it's like, it's hard to find the balance between, and I think when I did BFFs, I was really like, oh God, I don't want to be corny. Like yeah. the person coming in trying to take over and like do bits. I yeah. think it's always better more than less. And it's nice that we're together because we can at least just talk if the guest is not talking yeah. and like try to get something really out of smart. them. Yeah. But it is brutal when you're by yourself and interviewing. I've done a few of those. Yeah. But I do think that it's also like your fans are tuning in. Like, I don't think they're tuning in for the guest. I think they're tuning in to see your, what the guest brings out in the, their friends. I agree. Mm -hmm. 100%. They like so much. Yeah. It's hard. It's a weird thing when you have an interview and then it's a sit down and it's like, okay, where'd this start? How'd you do this? All that. Like, it's just like conversation. Yeah. We yeah. like, yeah. We like to just like shoot the shit kind of thing. Yeah. 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 No, I love that. But I yeah. feel like it's like, sometimes I'm like, am I talking too much? You know what I mean? No, you're, this is perfect. You're perfect. We love you. You are perfect. You guys yeah. are the best. You're perfect. And Cause it's also tricky. Hand. Cause it's like when you really want to hang out with someone, you're kind of like, well, what's the hang? Yeah, where's the where's where do we draw the line? Yeah, <laughs> yeah. You're kind of yeah. like, well, this is still on camera, so I'm not going to ask that question. That's probably not going to be a fun one. I'll do that later. Yeah, yeah. 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 You know I mean? Like it's the like, do you drink for sex one should have been off camera. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> that, so, yeah. That's between me and my therapist. <laughs> I thought so, because then I was because then, then I was like, when the lights are, oh yeah, then it turned into like, the, and then I was got, like, well yeah, this. Uh, what is she talking about? We yes. got to like a black nipple hair. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, wait, how did we get? Oh no, are you showing nipples on stage? Wow. Yeah. All right, well. But you really, you really went. I, I tried to, you, I tried to ride it. You, you yeah. tried to ride it. I was like, okay, where do we go from here? Let's figure this out. We can do this together. Thank you for not just being like, what is wrong with you? That was no, no, no. So, we got there. You were so sweet about it. We got there. You and it really was good. revealed your character in that moment. <laughs> we got there. We got there. <laughs> if someone doesn't, who's been doing stand up for twenty years, doesn't know if they drink before they go, they drink a lot. <laughs> I know. I was, like, oh. I was like, I don't know, which means I black out. <laughs> God, you oh. guys kill me. I oh, love shit. how honest you are about all the shit you're going through. Oh, yeah. I, yeah. I mean, if I'm not, like, I, I decided that, uh, when I first started doing all this that it was either going to be open book or what's the point mm -hmm. for me personally because I just, I can't, I, I'm bad at lying and faking shit, so I just tell the truth. And if you're good mm -hmm. at it, it makes shame. Yeah. And shame is it's like scary. the worst, mm. the worst. Yeah. Mm. It's like, I, I think it's like in relationships, some of the best advice I got was like, you can be anything in relationships. You can be jealous. You can be angry. You mm -hmm. can fall in and out of love. You can like hate the bird. But the one thing you should never be is confused. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And I was like, I love that. Yeah. You that's be good advice. You know what I mean? Yeah. Mm -hmm. And I think in like life, you can be all the things you can mm -hmm. be, yeah. you know, feel depressed, feel discouraged, feel hopeful, feel, yeah. you know, but you should never feel shame. Yeah. yeah. When we do ba when we do bad things, we we just come on here and talk about yeah. it. Yeah. Release like, the shame. When I was bad in relationships or did something wrong, like first thing was okay, let's record an episode and talk about it. And people hate you or they love you for it. Yeah. And if they hate you, it's because they're not at a point yeah. yet where they can admit their stuff. And if they yeah. love you, I'm they're sorry, like, I'm honest, but yeah, like you we're just people doing yeah. the thing. No mm -hmm. one's perfect. Yeah. And yeah. like, and that's what the roasts always did is mm -hmm. of just like it's a shame release. Yeah. yeah. It's yeah. like people just calling you out on your shit and mm -hmm. you calling yourself out to be like, I'm not perfect. Nobody's perfect. And anyone who does mask great is perfect that's the person you got to watch out 
for. Always. Because yes. yeah. they've got skeletons in their closet. Yeah. I would rather the person with all the flaws up front than mm-hmm. the person that comes off flawless. Yeah. yeah. What are you hiding? Because no yeah. one's expecting, holding you to this bar of like being and doing all, all good. It's like, we're honest about everything we do. And everybody that does do that always ends up being guilty in trouble of, for something guilty yeah. of the thing they're accusing you of yeah, yeah always anyone that's like you can't say trannies or whatever and then a year later it comes out a video of them screaming tranny at someone in a closet yeah. literally like yeah. actually saying it at someone like yeah. always oh was, like you're a bad guy can i tell you what else i'm obsessed <laughs> with you about i love that you're like a man from the 40s <laughs> <laughs> well i figure you know i'm a woman so i can say it like who says bimbo <laughs> I just haven't heard. You're like hubba hubba. I'm like this what? Bimbo. Yeah. You're like look at this little lass over here. Like I, what? I fall into this like weird like yeah like you're four- like in a Tennessee Williams play. <laughs> like, like I just I pervy just, words I haven't heard. You're like he's a real snake in the grass. <laughs> or shaking in my boots. Yeah. <laughs> Like words, I my grandfather. Like, how did you hear about these words? Man. <laughs> there is a an old man screaming yeah, to get out. <laughs> this is why men don't find You're me attractive. Like, Jack and Nam. I'm like, what? Like, I'm just like, look at the knockers on that girl. <laughs> Oh, yeah, I don't know who I am. Oh, I'm like we'll obsessed with you. Oh, <laughs> like, look at this little chickadee. <laughs> what? Yeah, what are you talking about? Yeah, melons, like you sound man. like an auctioneer in Atlantic City. <laughs> with a speech impediment. <laughs> <laughs> It's just like so endearing. <laughs> Do you have siblings? I'm the oldest of uh, three younger sisters. Okay. I have three Whoa. younger sisters. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So I'm wild. a real role model. Yeah. What's that? <laughs> <laughs> Where are they? Uh, they they live with my parents, and then one goes to West Virginia, actually. No way. Yeah. Oh, sick. Yeah. There's a Barstool West Virginia Twitter feed I follow. Oh, really? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> there is. <laughs> yeah. You know, they, they've... They, they have, have a party. really funny, what is it called? Like a boxing league. I'm oh my s- God. Uh, yeah. Rough and Rowdy. Yes. Rough, Rough and Rowdy. rowdy. She I fought in one of them. <laughs> Shut the fuck <laughs> up. And it then I went to the mental hospital. Yeah. She did it in Rhode Island. I'm <laughs> dying to go. It's epic. It's the so reason fun, I wanted dude. to do it was because we went to West Virginia to go see it. Mm-hmm. Wheeling, West Virginia. And mm-hmm. it was uh, I'm it was dying electric. to be a rough and rowdy ring girl. Oh Dude, my God, easy. Yes. Like well, that's one thing we can help you with. <laughs> yeah. And then you that's can like help us. Yeah, we'll, oh, we, we can, got you. We'll help you feel for I think there's one coming up soon. So if you need that, let us know. I'm like all in on a rough and rowdy attendance. Oh, yeah. It's so fucking And fun. then my creepy my creepy inner monologue will come out when I judge it. I'll yes. be the judge. Yes. But you fought <laughs> someone in it? I fought, yeah. Yes. I feel like you she won. Destroyed. I did, of course. <laughs> <laughs> she destroyed it. I feel like this is like a fight. It was really awkward, though, because I couldn't find anyone to fight. I just wanted to do it so bad. And I, I wanted to take a month off from drinking. So that was like my excuse. Okay. It was to train, do that. And I couldn't find anyone to fight. So I it was like a fight a fan contest. I ended up fighting <laughs> someone who adores the, uh, everything was, we do. It was, and, um, it was crazy. I was like, I'm sorry. Did. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks for watching. And you have to do like the, <laughs> the shit talk before, but the girl just like loved Grace. I know. And we're like, you fucking bitch. And she's like, I love you. And then I was like, yeah, <laughs> no, so I didn't mean it, man. <laughs> yeah, no, it was terrible. But, but we, it was awesome. But it was terrible. After. Yeah. yeah. I think you could just go to anyone that's like mean in the comments and be like, yo. Yeah, yeah. I know, but they won't show they, face. March yeah. 15th. I would fight a dude. <laughs> I know. Let's go. Yeah. It, it was, was incredible. Crazy. It was this, incredible. I'm, this is my first Google is when I get in the car. <laughs> oh, yeah. We'll send you the full fight. Well, first wait. a pirate will pop up. Grace O'Malley was an Irish pirate. So she's fucking my Google search up for now. But uh, I think it might be like page three of Google. Well, if you I'm type the, in fight. Second O. Oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> that pirate really <laughs> fucked you. Yeah, you killed me. That <laughs> Fucking bonkers. Yes. <laughs> this is huge. I'm obsessed with you. <laughs> okay, want to play this game? Mm-hmm. It's an easy. It's just fuck Mary Kill about things in, in your in your life, kind of. Okay. Whoa. First one. Fuck Mary Kill. The female brain. Two broke girls and Whitney. Jesus. As in, I'd fuck them, like have sex with them, or just like like I don't know, a metaphorical way. Of like, <sighs> you okay, hate this, Female Brain we'll is it. a movie that I made, independent movie with a very small budget. It was so hard to pull off. And now that people are like, gender doesn't exist. I have to like explain it all the time. Oh my God. <laughs> um, <laughs> okay. Whitney actually looks pretty good there. So she I looks f- really good she there. She looks great. That was in New Jersey. That looks like the stress factory. That was back before my hairline started receding. Look how I have hair right there. <laughs> yeah, that's I good. Would that's a good hairline. would definitely fuck. Oh, this is my Boston friend. Oh, oh. 
Hey, Nick. Nick? Nick, I'm here with uh, big, big Boston Patriots fans. They're the New England Patriots. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> we were actually just talking about you on the podcast. Um, I think I have a Boston gal to set you up with. The Boston Patriots were like a very, they're like, yeah, they, they had a moment. <laughs> okay. Where I don't want to date any Boston Patriots gal. What if I told you I'm a <laughs> hidden pervert? Where in Boston are you from? Um, like the suburbs. What? Uh, Weymouth. Weymouth. It's easier. Oh fuck it, yeah, dude. Weymouth is the wrong. Guy. <laughs> My guy, it's such a Boston <laughs> thing. Well, it's not really Weymouth. It's Rockland. It's right near Weymouth. Rockland. <laughs> Brock. Brockland. No. Rock, Brockland. Rockland. Near Brockton. Oh, Rockland. Yeah, not sure. Oh, you, uh, dude, South, South Shore. Shore. Come on now. South Shore, guy. Come on. <laughs> South Shore. That's good. South Shore. Yeah, the part. Yeah, I'm from Hingham. Oh, no uh, shit, dude. Anyway, dude, he well, grew up rich. That's great. So. <laughs> All right. Well, yeah, I mean, we'll I mean, come over after this. The names. <laughs> I'm just so disappointed. In what? No, keep going, though. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, so because she said Tom Brady is still God and I said you were mad at him. I completely I have never forgiven Tom Brady <laughs> for taking uh Drew Bledsoe's you know spot until yesterday when oh, I saw good. the Dunkin' Donuts commercial. <laughs> oh dude, that commercial was fucking so awesome, good. dude. Honestly, it was so good. Those are my two guys. <laughs> And then I'm like, Tom, you're fucking in, dude. <laughs> yeah, he's back. He's so I'm back. So fucking in. That was the best commercial ever. It really was. Exist, dude. Dude, oh my I mean, god. That is like, fuck Drew Bledsoe. <laughs> oh whoa, I wouldn't say that. Tom Brady is the guy. <laughs> yeah, no, when, when he played the DJ in that commercial, I was like, oh yeah, okay. I'm back. Yeah, he's I finally back. understand. Yeah, yeah, I get it. Is that why you texted me that commercial? <laughs> well, I just, I was kind of like, I finally get all the hype around this guy. <laughs> <laughs> you took the commercial. But are the Patriots, are they going to be good next year, do you think? No. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> are the Patriots going to be back? Like, are they back next year? Next year? <laughs> We, we lost Belichick, man. We, things are bad. Oh. Like, brings out his notebook. No, it's going to be a while. It's going to be a long walk in the wilderness. <laughs> Just come over. The winter is coming. <laughs> it is the winter. It'll be probably a decade. Remember right. Remember no, when I put? It. Remember when I sexily put on your T-shirt that said Nomar and you made me take it off? <laughs> <laughs> you okay there, guy? Just getting choked He's up. Like, Why did I do that? She would still be dating me. <laughs> oh my God. Can you imagine? Where is that t shirt? <laughs> it's my lucky tea. <laughs> lucky tea. No wonder the cats are losing. <laughs> you know what? Fuck Tom Brady. So funny. Like, the size of that t shirt. Yeah. Um, all right. Well, it's been real. Also, no more. Whatever. I'm on a very successful podcast, and so you're getting too now? much airtime. <laughs> Oh, are we on TV? Yeah, yeah. live TV. Well, we cut to commercial soon. <laughs> All right. Uh, what's, a, what's like an inside Boston thing that I wouldn't understand that they would understand? This could be good. You have to hurry. <laughs> I mean, I'm... Uh, I'm see, that's how inside I am. Um, <laughs> no, I get what you, um, exactly you what you're saying. Put, hey, look, look. They put boulders under the BU bridge to get the tents out. You talking about the big dig? The big dig? Talking about the big dig. <laughs> All right. <laughs> the big dig. I don't, I don't know what he's talking about. I think, I think you, is this, no, you get, I mean, that's, that, that's the go-to. He but, listens but, to I mean, the police plot, Boston police I have a lot of, I don't want to like, get Oh, the scanner? Many. I have a lot of, yeah. Do you listen oh, to the Boston? Anyway, I didn't need to. Okay, your our autisms are like clashing right now. <laughs> <laughs> so wait, do you still listen to the Boston police scanner? Um, yeah. <laughs> A lot of times I'm honest. 
<laughs> yeah, he recently um, made an appearance at the Boston. I've had a number of interactions with the local police. Dude, he's living my dream. Look, I mean, but the Cambridge police are really cool. Cam- you know? <laughs> okay. No, they really are professional, I'm telling you. I mean, that's a, that is a professional police department. Their goal is clear. <laughs> And they're trying to like make people survive without. What's your um, favorite bar in Boston? My favorite bar. Bar. Um, bar. The oyster bar. The um, yeah, the oyster bar. Where's the oyster? Oh, bar? you mean the oldest bar in the country? The oldest. Yeah. <laughs> oh shit! Is that still yeah, there? Yeah. yeah. Town. Oh. Fucking. You, 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 you mind? <laughs> what? <laughs> I, that's the problem in Boston is every time you say something like it's the oldest one ever. Like, okay, Sorry. we get it. That's <laughs> all so we got. Yeah, I know. They got kind of like I just wish that it kind of had moved a little beyond that. It's so. Yeah, it, yeah, right. I mean, it's got so kind of. Yeah, it didn't quite move this is, beyond. You know, you know how podcasts. Oldest, so. You know how like podcasts. Right, do, I, do I know how podcasts work? Like you gotta keep it interesting. You gotta, you gotta. <laughs> but can't, do, do you edit this shit? Like, is no. There a way to we like... need you to like get funnier, faster. <laughs> okay, okay, you know okay, how okay, this okay, works. Okay, go, go, go. Let's Where go. did you go to high school? I went to high school at Mill Academy. Fucking rich prick. That's yeah. what I said. He said he was from Hingham. <laughs> yeah. Fancy. He's fancy. He's fancy. Yeah. Did you yeah. say? Did he say fair? No, Milton Academy. Oh, uh, worse. <laughs> <laughs> Where did you go? Uh, public public school yeah. Yeah. Rockland High Rockland High Rockland High yeah is that where they shot Rockland High Goodwill Hunting it's us <laughs> <laughs> actually all right well this is my background I feel like we had a good run here <laughs> kind of blew it dude <laughs> <laughs> you're all right you're all right like I missed, dude just like the high school of hard rocks fizzled out hard a little bit. Hard rocklands. All right, I have to All right, hang well, up. anyway, I didn't need to call you. I was just very upset about, like, some friend of mine told me that this um, Wizard of Oz 2024 <laughs> remake trailer is AI and it's not really happening. <laughs> I thought that when I, when I saw the commercial, I go, this is AI and it's not happening. And I go, Are, this is not real. This looks like a fucking commercial for like something else. It wasn't really for the movie. Scientology commercial. Yes. And then I Googled, what is Scientology? That was the commercial I saw. It was like the castle. The, it was the not midget. real. I know. Thank you for saying it's that. It's so I full circle. It. Oh my God. I didn't want to talk about that actually. Okay. Thank you for Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> We've been arguing about it for days. No, I mean, I've, I've been watching it and crying. <laughs> and then my friend was like, bro, that's AI. And I'm like, you know, ding <laughs> dong, the witch is dead. That's not really happening. Are you telling me that? We're really not going to do that again? Come on. <laughs> it is time. It's time. We were trying to figure out how long. How the many Wizard movies. of Oz needs to get remade. <laughs> You've never seen The Wiz? We were trying to The Wiz. <laughs> Come on. We've got to go see The Wiz. <laughs> we were trying to figure out how many meetings went into them deciding if they were going to use actual midgets or not. <laughs> and then have an HR meeting about what they could call them. Like, is it dwarves? Is it, is it cutie pies? Like, what's the new? <laughs> Sweethearts. What are we, what Bring are in the adult them? kids. What do we call them? The pipsqueaks? Today we're going to have the little people meeting. They're going to come in. No, I mean, dude, you can't talk. I mean, you just, it's like, again, <laughs> hey, listen, again, it's like when they did the, okay, listen, with the Wizard of Oz remake, it's, it reminds me of when they did the um, Tracy Chapman song. <laughs> I guess where you going. That, sang the song, he's like, I'm the bag check girl. <laughs> Or whatever, like you know, he didn't change the lyrics. Was, so I mean, I, I that's the move, you know. Okay, so like, the guy that have kept it the same. Oh, I get a fast car. <laughs> so, right. And he said, "I'm a, I'm I'm the checkout girl." Like he didn't change that. He kept so. What was I'm great, just saying. I guess we honor the original. Looks like I'm doing another intervention today. <laughs> <laughs> My guy, when did no, you so stop? The <laughs> My guy. <laughs> All right, um, this is long overdue, but I love you and I hang up. All right. Thanks, sir. I like your takes. I like your takes. (laughs) This is my.
my my Boston best friend. That was incredible. Yeah, no, it checks that was out. Exactly, all of our guy friends from home. Yeah, he's yeah. a mind bending thrill ride. <laughs> he's gonna call to just argue with me about the Wizard of Oz today. It's like this is really pressing. I really yeah, didn't yeah. want to bother oh, yeah, you, that's but what my afternoon is gonna be. Sorry about that. So apologies. Okay, let's fuck Whitney because she's never looked better. Um. Let's marry two broke girls, because come on, they're the most darling ever. They are darling. They're the greatest. Um, love them, Beth Bears, Kat Dennings. And I guess we're going to kill the female brain, because gender is no longer real. Yeah, it's over. <laughs> so fuck that. Is the everybody brain? You're now idiot. okay. I'm a transphobe, because I made that movie. <laughs> Based on actual science. Fuck, marry, kill. Ooh, God, these are like three this of my hard. favorite shows. Mm. Um, I love Larry David, but me, who's the closest to death anyway? <laughs> True. I, oh, come on. You know that Danny DeVito knows how to fuck. I gotta fuck Danny DeVito. Mm-hmm. Um, Everyone says that. Who's, <laughs> who's richer, Jerry Seinfeld or Larry David? That's the one I'll marry. Larry David. I guess Larry, Larry David's also right? single. It'd be rude to marry a married man. So I guess I have to marry... Uh, Larry David. That'd okay. be hilarious. I don't want to f- kill Jerry Seinfeld. No, he's dead. Why not? But I he lives in the Hamptons that. and he's going to get Lyme disease soon anyway. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> so he's fucking dead. I would just be getting ahead of what was already imminent. <laughs> That's a good political answer. Ooh, fuck Mary Kelly. Office, Friends, Parks and Rec. Okay, so I have not seen a lot of Parks and Rec, so that's the only reason I feel like I can kill it. Just okay, that's fair. Just because it wouldn't be offensive to do because I just hadn't seen a lot of it. I think I'd have to... Friends, now, the Matthew... The ketamine thing. You got to mm, watch yeah. the ketamine, mm, Matthew mm. Perry. Yeah. That's all I can think about now. That's sad. I know. Maybe because I have a nostalgic connection to friends now. I marry friends. Yeah. Mm. And I fuck, fuck the, the office. office. Mm. Yeah. yeah. That's good. Make good fuck. What would you have done? I fucked the whole office, but that's just <laughs> a rumor at our work. <laughs> Are you allowed to date people in your work? Yeah, but no one really does because last really time does. I did it ended really badly and was like super public for someone. Oh, really? yeah, everything's yeah. content, so it's just sucks. yeah, oh, like they, their breakup yeah. was just content. It was but it's crazy. not like an HR thing. But now there, but now, but now there's a marriage within the office from it. If you yeah. date someone to work, you got to marry them. I, I agree. Like. You have to, especially if it's a guy getting a younger girl, you got to marry her. It's mm-hmm. got to be end all, mm-hmm. be all. Yeah, yeah, yeah. tricky. Mm-hmm. Picky battles. Oh. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> This one's good. Fuck Mary Kill, Matt Rife, Theo Mon, Bert Kreischer. God damn it. Well, Bert's gonna die in 20 minutes. So <laughs> Bert Kreischer is so close to death at this point. Uh, shit, this is very hard. That picture of Theo is demonic. <laughs> I Ever, know. Where, where, that's fucking who, scary. His eyes are. Did someone Photoshop his eyes closer together? That is. <laughs> that's e, you guys are evil for using that photo. By the way, Matt Rife, wait, hold on. Their hairlines are oddly similar. Wait a second. Is Matt Reif just Scientology Theo? What's happening? Oh, that wow. is so true. He's got the castle <laughs> like, and he's got so the trailer weird. park. Yeah, dude. <laughs> he's the rough and rowdy version of Matt Reif. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, <laughs> the old Vaughn looks like Matt Rife took two milk shows up. <laughs> oh no, oh, buddy! Wow. Putting them side by side, we should put Bert in the middle. It's kind of, <laughs> it's kind of fucking with my head, dude. Oh no, <laughs> buddy! That's oh, wild. Sh- that is wild because they both have the same whoever pulled this has a thing for that expression that guy (laughs) in between (laughs) in between smile like raya profile (laughs) douchebag the date going not well (laughs) it might hurt you a lot actually god okay i love i love all of these men um they're all like uh it would feel like incest for any of these guys (laughs) um let's see okay I feel like Theo's wild in bed. I feel like I might have to fuck Theo just to see what's up. With the lights on, check out. Sober. With, the, with the lights on, totally sober. Because he'd be like, oh yeah. He'd be like into the black and yeah. hair. Like, he'd be like <laughs> sucking into yeah. more hair. He would take it off and add it to his mullet. I don't know. I feel like Theo's probably pretty I wild. I think I got so much hair. Yeah, like I like a southern dude. Louisiana dudes like know what's up. Um, okay, so I guess I'm going to fuck Theo. Which is wild. Um, let's see. He also, his hair looks amazing in that photo. Um, he got a hair transplant, didn't he? Yeah, he think he talks about it. Yeah, he talks yeah, about yeah, it. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, let's see. 
and also the thing about Theo is he's so I've known him for 20 he's always been like this mm, he's always, yeah. always been this person yeah mm -hmm. like he's just a he's a wild very uh unique brain um okay let's see You're I can't I'm very good friends with Burkreischer's wife. I actually would love to be in like a Mormon throuple with them with oh, no sex. Good, and just yeah. like she's such a good cook. <laughs> um, and they have such good weed and alcohol in the house. <laughs> but I can't kill Matt Wright. I, I do. I know he's gotten a lot of shit recently. Yeah. But like I know I've known him for so long and he's I think he's a sweetheart. I think he just got too famous too fast. That's mm. fair. What the fuck was going to happen? Like how could this possibly have not exploded? Yeah. yeah it's like fair. what happened with Dane Cook a little bit but just kind of like on a faster scale. Yeah. You know what I mean? Dane Cook. It like, was got, so fast. It was yeah, like Dane Cook was like big, big, but also Matt's been doing it for a while, you mm -hmm. know, and I also think he dated Kate Beckinsdale. Mm -hmm. Like, I feel like there were like some other things where I feel like sometimes when someone gets canceled or in trouble for something, which by the way, canceling get, helps you at this point. You know what I mean? Yeah. So yeah. It's like if the very people that are trying to destroy no one cares you. about you. Yeah. It's, it's like as soon as somebody gets like to a really good level, like, hey, did you see the blah, blah, blah? Like, people are looking for reasons to They want to, to build cancel. you up just to... It's like freaking Shane just enough, got SNL and they brought up the reason he never he never got SNL in the first like place. It's like, knew that. fuck off. That's nice like, try. Things. It's like, we talk about that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, dude, we should have another Trump party. That sounds really <laughs> fun. fucking funny. I've already got my black face in my purse. <laughs> um, no, but also, uh, I think that sometimes when someone gets, like, in trouble for something, people have been wanting but they didn't have it yet. Yeah. And then it's like the straw that breaks the camel's back. Yeah. I yeah. think people are like jealous that he dated Kate Beckinsale. It's like stunning. Long. He was getting super successful. Mm -hmm. Like what we were talking about earlier, he was getting really famous off like crowd work clips, which comics are kind of like, well, hey, th yeah. yeah. Well, because we're kind of like, you know, I think it's smart to not burn material, but we're like, yeah. well, why didn't we think of that? We're just mad that yeah, we just, didn't think yeah. of it. It goes Do back to the beginning of everyone. The comics are just mad. <laughs> totally. Yeah. Totally. So it was like, that was, <sighs> you know what? I'll kill Matt Reif just because he'll survive it. Mm, that's fair. Yeah. He's not going to die. He kind of is a robot. Unkillable. So it doesn't count as killing him. Yeah. Yeah. He just survived yeah. a domestic violence joke. Yeah. <laughs> like he can survive me survive trying anything. to kill him. That's yeah, true. totally. Yeah, he would do a video about it. it would, his death would go viral. <laughs> <laughs> He'll dodge it like and then uh, I the would girl get, had to. I would get more yeah. famous. Yeah. So I got to kill this guy. It's a win-win. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I know. I just like jokingly on my podcast said that he was the father of my kid. It was like on TMZ the next day. I was like, this guy is fucking famous. It's crazy. crazy. Yeah, so I guess I have to... Oh, okay. Whoa. Oh, this is unfair. Yeah, this, <laughs> this is, is not cool. This is Tough. unfair. This isn't cool. Tough. You have to go first. Well, the reason I get scared is people already... There's so much weirdness between female... Our female comics are so pitted against each other yeah. already. Yeah. That's why I don't, yeah. Yeah, so that it's like, I don't want this to... Well, fuck you. By the way, what's I'm that? just getting started here. I'm not yeah. going to ruin it. And I fucking hate you. <laughs> We're enemies now, okay? We kill each other. <laughs> You're my competition. <laughs> no, I think that's over. Like, when I started, it really was, like, between me and you to get on the lineup. Because they yeah. only have one girl, you know? Mm -hmm. So, like, Nikki and I always talk about this. Is like, Nikki and I just got close recently, yeah. you know? Because in the beginning, and it's not that it, there was negative. There was just, like, awkwardness. Yeah. You know? yeah. We were both, like, focusing so hard because we had to go on stage and kill. And it was just sort of, like, there, there was wasn't time to, one. like, be the friend. Yeah. Yeah. You, you just put it perfectly. I just had Hannah Burner on my podcast. She is hysterical. Oh my gosh. Amy Schumer, I just don't know her. That it's weird because like New York and LA, she doesn't come out to LA, and I don't go to New York that much. Yeah. We mm -hmm. just don't know each other that well. So I That's guess fair. I have to marry her. <laughs> um, is Nikki out here? <laughs> What's that? Is Nikki out here? Nikki is out here now. Oh okay. Yeah, and then she Nikki wasn't was, before, right? She was in New York. I always thought yeah. Nikki hated me. Well, I, I think everyone always hates me, but it was me just too. so like. I'm a piece of shit in the center of the universe. Mm -hmm. It's so like yeah. self-absorbed. Yeah. Than that. But like she just lived in New York and it's like hard to it's, be friends. And it's also weird because like we're coworkers. It, I think everyone is like, thinks it's weird that comics, female comics aren't all best friends, but we're yeah. like touring most of the time. Mm -hmm. We're kind of always like in different cities. So I just didn't get to know her till recently. And I was like, I thought you hated me. She's like, I thought you hated me. And I was it, like, that's okay, the weirdest let's be thing, friends, yeah. Jesus. It's kind of like being like a, like in a corporate world. It's like, oh, the LA like building or the, and then the New York building. It's like, cross. you just never cross. Like, yeah, yeah never that, it's really in, like, more that. Simple terms. Yeah. Yeah. Like, and if we're on the same show, I'll be on at nine, you'll be on at 10. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Space yeah. out the girls, mm -hmm. you know what I mean? So we don't just don't get to hang a lot. So Nikki's fucking awesome. Amy, I just don't know that well. Well, we can um, totally skip this too. So I'll no, I'll marry Amy to get to know her. Nice. Uh, <sighs> shit. <laughs> <laughs> this is hard. It is hard. Um, well, here's the thing. I can't fuck Hannah Burner because she was just on my podcast and talked about how she does not like rough sex. I saw that. At all. <laughs> I saw that. Yeah. So we would not get along. She's like, I don't like to be choked. I don't like to. Be She's vanilla baby. <laughs> yeah, totally. <laughs> Which is like so cute. So I can't fuck her. Nikki likes is pretty. She'll, she's down for whatever. This is hard. I can't kill. I can't. 
Okay, you can- I'll kill myself. Kill yourself. Yeah. I'll marry Nikki and Amy in a thruple. I like that. And then we'll all kill each other. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that cancels out. Like, yes. Yeah. Over a premise. Yeah. And then what am I doing? And then I'm fucking Hannah. Wait. You're marrying them too. You're killing yourself. Oh yeah. And then, and then, then I'm fuck fucking Hannah. Hannah and she's gonna it's gonna be bad. She's gonna report yeah. <laughs> me to the authorities. You're going to prison. Yeah. Authorities. <laughs> Female pervert. Oh, she looks so good there. Yeah, they're the best. This is cute. They all look so good there. I think that's all of them, right? Yeah. yeah. Okay, you got off. All okay. right. No that was all I do. That was good. I feel like that's like a Rorschach test. Like, <laughs> I know. Yeah, right. to my therapist because it just, it more reveals your like, log, the way you like. You think, <laughs> yeah. This was therapy. This was. This was yeah. a good episode. This was therapy. Thank you. Oh, good. Yeah. Thanks yeah. for having me. That was Whitney Cummings. She's a legend. Anyone negative in the comments, just know I agree with you. Uh, yeah, we <laughs> all agree. Anyone? We read all of them and we're going to filter the comments. Anyone who yeah. hates me, I'm, uh, I'm on your side. Yeah. <laughs> we're, we're all, all in this together. Team. It's like, like fair. Yeah. <laughs> sorry. You're right. Yeah. <laughs> all right. I love you guys. Thanks yeah, for having me. Too. Thank you so much. Thanks for listening, guys.